And we are here. We are awake. And uh, Brooks Ritter's working with me. He's my executive producer. So good morning, Brooks. Good morning, Jim. How are you? Real good. How are you? I'm doing all right. <laughs> all right. Little Feeling a little under the weather, but I'm here. You've been go-kart racing too much. Uh, only once this week. Only once this week. Yeah. Might, might go yeah. tonight. Might go tonight. All yeah. right. Yeah, we did a... Uh, Broadcast from uh, Shore Speed in Milford last week, and Brooks and Brandon, uh, they both are addicted to that and um, can't get enough of it, huh? Yeah, he actually so. had a little giveaway last week, and uh, Brandon took the prize. Wow. So. And, uh, so you guys have been going crazy all week. He allowed, I think the prize was you could spend all the money you want in one week? Absolutely. Yeah, and you're working on it. Absolutely. All right. Well, anyway, that's Shore Speed. If you've never been there, never seen it, never heard of it, it's an indoor go-kart track right there in Milford, right behind McDonald's. Right behind NKS Distributors. So, good morning. Weller's Utility Trailers is going to be open today at 9 o'clock. Open 9 to 1. Uh, got a lot of specials. Boy, we lowered our trailer prices. And um, I'm kind of glad we did. But, you know, every time you do it, you get busy and you start thinking. I'm, I start thinking, I'm giving away money I don't need to give away. What's it called? Leaving money on the table, you know, or whatever. Yeah, absolutely, but, yep. but everybody's been really happy and they've appreciated it. I've uh, talked to some people that have been talking to us off and on over the past few months to even a year saying, you know, finally I just decided to go ahead and pull the trigger. You put them on sale. I could obviously see that I was saving money. I think people like to see that. They like to see yeah. what the trailer was, what the trailer is, and say, my goodness, you know, this is – this is as much as I would save buying an automobile or something like that. So we've really discounted a pretty darn good. The percentages off are pretty good. And uh, and it's not a bunch of old inventory. This has been a good year. We've actually sold more trailers than last year. Um, not 100 more, but almost 100 yeah, more. Yeah, almost 100 more, yeah. Yep. So uh, we're pretty pleased. We're up by almost 10%. So um, we're, we're pleased. We, we, we thank you for our customers, you know, Absolutely. coming in and doing that. So anyway, I want to thank one of my sponsors, First Class Heating and Air. Uh, the weather, boy, one day it's chilly, one day it's warm. I'm going from heat to air conditioning. It's crazy, but I'm glad I have great operational heaters and air conditioners. And it makes me really appreciative of First Class Heating and Air because I had a new system put in my house, I don't know if it was a year ago or two years ago. It was a year ago. But anyway, and uh, they did a great job, and my uh, heat and air conditioning has been more consistent, quieter. I did not really even think my heater and air conditioner was noisy till I got one that was even quieter than the one I had. But more importantly, I like it when I walk down the hallway, I look at the thermostat, and I'm like, now I can see what the temperature is outside. Because here lately, you have no idea if you're going to walk outside, it's going to be 40 degrees or 58 degrees, you know. So. Yeah, there's been some mornings I could have walked out in shorts. Yeah. I'm like, wow, it's like November, December, and I'm walking out in shorts. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, if you haven't had your heater or air conditioner service, it's a great time to get it done. They have some great programs, maintenance agreements. They sell new systems. They offer financing. They do plumbing. They do electrical. They do home performance systems. Great company to deal with. First class heating and air. Thank them for supporting Weller's. Weller does Delmarva. I thank you. Anyway, and they've just been a great supporter of the show. 934-8900. 934-8900. On the web, it's firstclasshvac.com. Hey, Brooks, tell me this. I mentioned yesterday on Dan's show that we're giving away these buttons. Are they going over very good? Yes. Okay. So uh, yeah, this we've is giving out quite a few of them. All right. And so we live in a day and time where I guess I don't I don't even know the logic behind it, but some people are afraid to say the words "Merry Christmas." I don't know if there's Christmas police out there or if it's just big corporations that won't allow it or whatever. I I don't even have any rationale in my brain why you wouldn't want to give somebody a good a good greeting in the Christmas season. So anyway, and, and as odd as it is, we got these calendars we're giving away, right? Mm -hmm. I have had more people grab that calendar to see if the word Christmas and Easter are still on there. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. And I like I make light of it, but you know, I mean they're dead serious. They sure. want to see if the calendar companies are still putting it on there. So first of all, we got free calendars at Wellers. What is the deal? One is free. Two for a dollar. Two for a dollar. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, um, we got the calendars, and then we got these buttons, and there's simply a button that says, it's okay to say Merry Christmas. So if you'd like one of these, uh, we don't want you to come in and take handfuls or anything, um, but come on in and get one. Sure. No purchase necessary. Wellers is conveniently located right on Route 13, right outside of Bridgeville, right on the highway. Uh, there's a big electronic sign. There's a big sign that's 30 feet tall that says Wellers straight up and down or straight down 
Straight up to down. Yeah. Straight up to down. There you go. But anyway, so. Um, and there's hundreds and hundreds of trailers out there. Hundreds so you and hundreds. You cannot miss us. Yeah. I don't think we have more than 1,000 trailers. We don't even sell 1,000 in a year. That is our goal for this year, and we're working on it. But, um, and we need you to make that happen, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Even if you bought one, buy another one, if you would, please. <laughs> uh, prepare for your friends because they'll want to borrow it. So uh, buy a, that's, the, that's what we need is the borrow trailer. Yeah, buy one for yourself and one to lend to friends. One to lend to friends. You'll be the hit of the neighborhood. So anyway, but we're trying to hit that goal. But if you ride by Wellers now, they are stacked up, what, 10 feet tall out there. Uh, absolutely. You know, I'm like, good <laughs> golly, you know. So, uh, but we're hiring some help, and um, we're getting some help. It's kind of amazing. The guys we're talking to are like, man, ain't nobody hiring. We're hiring. Well, but we're ramping up. There's yeah. no question about it. We're buying very, very heavy, and not just in trailers and other things that we sell. We are trying to buy all of our 2015 inventory by the end of 2014. And people say, why would you do such a thing? Because there's going to be some price increases next oh, year. Yeah. You know, the price of fuel is down. It's a good time for companies to raise their prices if they're going to because everybody's smiling and in a good mood about the fuel, so you catch them off guard. So, yep. uh, But all the people that sell us trailers have made it very clear they are having some price increases next year. So anyway, Weller's Utility Trailers is here. We are on the web. If you are listening and you say, well, I'd like to learn a little more about this place. I've never even been there. So go on the web to Weller's. It's W-E-L-L-E-R-S. You know how many people think it's got an H in there? A lot, actually. A lot, because the Wheeler <laughs> dealer, you know, in yeah. other words. But it's Wellers, W-E-L-L-E-R-S dot com. Click on there if you want to learn a little bit about Jim Weller. There's a brief video down at the bottom. And uh, we got generators on sale. How's that going? Actually, really well. We've sold quite a few here lately. Yeah, Briggs & Stratton, Champion. Mm -hmm. So um, we've got generators. Uh, we have, I know this doesn't sound like a big deal, but for us, we're, we're one store in the whole United States of America. And we have priced ourselves below Amazon.com and below Home Depot and Walmart. So we like that. In other yeah. words, that feels good, you know. Hard to do because it means we're giving away all of our profit or more of our profit. But we're doing it because we want to stay in the fight. We want to be competitive. I meet people to say, oh, Walmart runs everybody out of business. Well, we're going to put up a fight. You know what Absolutely. I mean? They're going to earn this business if they run us out. So anyway, I'm just letting you know, everybody serves a purpose in the community. You know, people enjoy buying from Walmart, and then they beat up on them. Walmart does a great job. I mean, they've got product at prices that are hard to beat, and they set the tone. They've caused me to be a sharper businessman for sure. 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 Sharper, sharpening my pencil all the time. <laughs> just so. don't put your pens in the in the pencil sharpener. It oh, doesn't I work know. too well. And then you got to clean the pencil sharpener up. <laughs> exactly. All right. <laughs> anyway, well, anyway, we are going to have a good show this morning. Uh, I forgot to mention a few things. This is Weller Does Delmarva, and you can watch us. You can go right now and look at, I don't know if it's us or me, but anyway, it's called WellerDoesDelmarva.com. If you click on there, you can look at this week's show. You can watch us right now live. And if you uh, want to look at last week's show or some previous shows, not every one of them is on there, but most of them are on there. Yeah, most of them. And the other thing is we're for hire. Like we were last week at Shore Speed in Milford. Had some people stop out. I don't even know if he had any response after that, but I presume he did because we – Certainly got the word out, but we are for hire. We work kind of cheap, but we don't work for free. So we can come to your business or come to your event and do our show live right from there. And uh, we also can stream it so people can see what you have or your product or something like that. So did we get a chance to stream any of the uh, go-kart track in Milford? Yeah. yeah so the, people could go to Weller, does Delmarva, and see what the go-karts look like or what the place looks like from the inside. Exactly. They could see a couple of uh, the carts that were going around. They even have these things called crazy carts, and they can, you can see them. Oh, is that what was spinning in circles? Yeah. To Man, me, it looks like you, you like would, you'd have to be crazy. <laughs> exactly. You'd I'm like, to. wow, that, that looks like something that would make me sick. But yeah. But the, I mean, there were some youngsters out there on those things, and they were and they were having, having fun. They wouldn't get yeah. off of them. Yeah. And so. they they did actually have a very good day last Saturday. After oh, we really? Left. It just got busier and busier throughout the day. I, I like the word more busy. More busy. It got way. more busy. <laughs> there we go. That works. <laughs> the dec or the, the uh, dictionary of Jim Weller. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we also have a Facebook page, Weller Does Delmarva, on Facebook. So if you would be so kind as to go there and like it, 
Um, can they like it twice or only once? It, uh, unfortunately, Facebook will only let you li like it once. Okay. I've, I've s submitted a request to change that. Right. At but, least uh, it's for our page. But Mark hasn't gotten back to me. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, as long as Mark gets in here and buys some trailers, I'm happy. <laughs> All right. I want to thank also L&W Insurance Agency. Um, I get this kind of a comment every week. I hate buying insurance. How could you be happy with your insurance agent? Let me really rephrase what I'm trying to say. I deal with L&W Insurance Agency, and I've dealt with them for 20-plus years. I don't even shop them. I don't want them to know that, but I don't shop around. I get people in here all the time wanting to quote me. My belief on insurance is this. It's all the same price no matter where you buy it because the agent doesn't set the price as the insurance company does. So it really boils down to... Did anybody miss anything? So if one person's a little cheaper than another, I immediately become nervous. I'm like, did they miss something? Because you know when you find out what was missed in your insurance policy? When you have a claim. When you have a claim. And I can honestly say any claims that we've ever had, personal or business, I appreciate how L W handles it. They don't make me have to deal directly with the insurance company. They get in the middle of it. Is that word liaison, I think? Yeah. They work between mm -hmm. me and the insurance company. They make sure I'm happy. Um, we buy our health insurance from us, from them, through them, and they pretty much forbid me to call, what is it called, Highmark? Yes. Yeah. They're mm -hmm. like, do not call them. Call us. <laughs> we'll take care of it for you because if you call them, you might get frustrated. So anyway, it's l and Insurance Agency, real nice place to deal. Um, I've never actually been to their building. They always end up coming here. But their phone number is 856-7828, 856-7828. They're located in Dover. They've been serving Delaware for over 60 years. Auto, home, health, life, or commercial coverage. I love this. I call during normal business hours, and I get a human being answer the phone. And what I really like is if I'm looking for so-and-so, then she says, well, I want to let you know they're not in their office or they're out to lunch. Would you like to leave a message or do you want me to find somebody else to help you? I love that instead of just dumping me off to the voicemail area. So anyway, l &W Insurance Agency, 856-7828. Tell them I sent you. Give them a call and see how your insurance stacks up to what they would suggest you consider buying. Now, I saw this in the guide this week. And um, it is Christmas in Bridgeville. Have you ever been to this, Brooks? I have not. Okay, it's actually the 39th annual. Wow. So you're very involved, aren't you? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <All right. sighs> anyway, it's Bridgeville Historical Society's Christmas in Bridgeville. And um, it's kind of a neat thing. So it's sponsored by the Bridgeville Historical Society. And it's today, Saturday, December 6th. That is today from 9 to 3. So anytime, it's going to start, 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock. It's at the Woodbridge Middle School, um, Law Street in Bridgeville, formerly the Woodbridge High School, okay? Chances will be available to uh, win the Society of, what's V-I-Z-I-O mean? Yeah, I see. I Vizio. Yeah. It's a 42-inch high definition. Oh, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a brand of TV. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that. I was just saying if you were awake over there. 42-inch uh, high definition yeah. TV. Wow, you can win that. They're raffling that off. And there's over 60 vendors will be selling their wares and a large assortment of handmade holiday gifts. So literally, folks, no matter what direction you're coming from, you can come to Weller's first. And then we'll point you in the direction of downtown Bridgeville. How about that? Sure. Even if um, we got any gifts we can give just to draw people through the door. We got some nice Christmas buttons that we can give. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. What else have we got? Anything else? We got a nice little lock for a PSP we could probably Let's, work out. I, I got something I want to do today. Let's What's try that? this. This is a little experiment. We got these mugs. Okay. okay. Now, the neat thing about these mugs, Brooks, you may not know this, but I like to get a good deal on stuff. Okay. No. I think I could have figured that out. All right. <laughs> and when I was shopping for mugs, my daughter Kim was like, these are like $3 a piece, and these are like a dollar a piece. And I'm like, well, let's just get the dollar ones. She said, well, the only difference is you can't put the cheaper ones in a microwave. That's a big they deal They must for have coffee. something on them or a ring around the top or something. And I'm like, really? I said, well, then just get me the cheaper ones that leak, but make sure we can put them in the microwave. <laughs> now, these are brand-new coffee mugs. Weller does Delmarva. They're going to be a collector's item someday, okay? And uh, we will give you one of these absolutely free if you swing by here. you got to get with Brooks, Brooks Ritter. Nobody else here is going to know about this, and we'll give you one of these absolutely free today and today only, one per carload. How about that? It works for me. We don't want a 15-passenger minivan <laughs> stopping in here. Take a know, whole box. <laughs> take a whole box. You know, in other words, uh, one per carload. 
Weller does Delmarva Mug, and uh, they'll be free if you're going to stop by on your way to the Christmas in Bridgeville Bazaar or if you're just going by. And another thing I'd like you to do, we like to know if people are listening. So if you are listening and you hear us and they go by, how many times do we want them to honk? Three times. Three times. What do we want them to do if they're not hearing us? Don't honk. Don't honk. All right, <laughs> folks, that's how we'll know. So if you go by and you didn't hear us, do not honk. But if you did hear us, I want you to honk three times if you would, please, okay? All right, but stop in and get your new mug, and um, we will give you one of those absolutely free. And Christmas in Bridgeville, guess how much it costs to get in? It's absolutely free. Absolutely free. Wow, that Wait, sounds two like for a, a dollar. plan. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, so lunch is available too. Holy mackerel. So um, I got a feeling they're going to charge for that. But check it out. If you haven't done your Christmas shopping, that's today. Over 60 vendors in one building. No charge to get in. Downtown Bridgeville. What a great deal. Tell them I sent you. They didn't even know I was going to mention it. That was just an added value bonus. So anyway, we've got some stuff going on today. Going to have Mark Johnson in here in a little bit from that granite place. I went there the other day, and I, I had a really good time. And um, he didn't have any keychains to give me, but I'll show you what he gave me if you go online and look. So anyway, no, I'm just messing with him. He's sitting here. But um, what else you got, Brooks? I'm running well, out of wind. I'm really I, not. I'm just giving you a chance. I do want to uh, thank everybody that came in and took advantage of our Black Friday special. Was that unreal or what? Yeah, it's absolutely. I mean, I've been here for nine years, and I would say this this Black Friday was probably the best Black Friday we've ever had. I agree with now, that. Now the specials were, but really we were good. open this year. Yeah, we were open, <laughs> and and we've had we've some good stuff. You you've done well in in your shopping for finding yes. things for us to sell. So we had some really good diverse items that were available, and I feel like it's you know it was the best. It Black was the Friday best. I agree. We had some really nice days. We ran for about a week or about maybe. week, week and a half. Yeah. yeah. And uh, boy, we had the support for that, you know. But I also think Wellers is getting known for more than just trailers. Yeah. Trailers, trench, carports, and swing sets. We're getting known for just a little more than that because we got all kinds of crazy, silly stuff. We got an ad coming out. I don't even think you've seen this one yet. Gifts, $10 and under. You got it right there. I got it right in front of me. He's on it, folks. <laughs> Here is the. Hot deal there. It's a time of year. People want to have people over for dinner and company and stuff like that. Ivory cloth dinner napkins. They look like they're brand new in the package. What would you expect to pay for them in Bridgeville? <laughs> I would think 20 or 30 look what bucks. what she put in the ad. Listen to this. Ivory cloth dinner napkins or shop rags. Hey, whatever <laughs> works for you. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, you can go either way with these things. So if you're going to use them to stain furniture or have Christmas dinner and afterwards have everybody go out there and stain some furniture or some wood or something. Because my wife does a lot of woodworking, so she's always looking for cloths. So you dip them in that thing and you yeah. wipe stuff down. Anyway, I don't know what you would expect to pay. Dollar a piece, dollar fifty a piece. This is a crazy offer. And, and I know as soon as I say it, somebody's going to be thinking, can I buy them all? You can buy them all. Thousands of them, okay? <laughs> Ten for $3. Wow. That's like 80 cents a piece, isn't it? Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> I'm going to go with your math. <laughs> 30 cents a piece, Brooks. Oh. 80 cents times 10 is how much? 96 cents? Uh, it's too early to all calculate. Right. <laughs> Folks, 80 cents times 10 yeah, is 80 cents. dollars <laughs> Okay. Oh, it's $8. You're right. But they're 10 for $3. Now, you can tell by that price, this must be one of the most profitable things we sell here. Absolutely. So I have, I have come under some very severe scrutiny lately. Like, why are you selling some of the stuff as cheap as you're selling it? Did we sell all the ba bubble bath? We are out. Did that guy buy them all? Well, the guy, well, he's. He's bought quite a bit, but okay. over over the time of having it, we've had quite a few customers Come buy in it. and buy a bunch. Yeah, but he he bought quite a bit. He bought us out yesterday, and now when we're done, but okay, um, I would say he probably bought fifteen or twenty cases. What were they? Four bottles of bubble bath for a dollar. For a dollar, yep, twenty five cents a piece. <laughs> yep, <laughs> three. So what I'm saying is, people are saying, I really need to understand how in the world can you sell ten cloth dinner napkins they're probably worth a buck a piece mm -hmm. at least how can you sell them 10 for three dollars how i could sell them 10 for three dollars is is i buy truckloads of stuff a company will contact me and say we have a 53 foot long tractor trailer full of a variety of merchandise some of it's new some of it's used some of it works some of it doesn't it's a hundred thousand dollars worth of stuff and you can buy it for $8,000. We have no idea what's in there. We can't tell you what's in there. Do you want it? 
or not. And that's how it goes. Yeah. And you have every bit of a minute or two to make up your mind. Yep. Because we're going to hang up the phone and we're going to contact the next person and they're either going to say yes and we're not going to stop till it's sold. It's not like, well, can I think about this for five or ten minutes? So I buy it. Well, I used to have this barn that I would put it all in, mm -hmm. but I don't have that. Dry Zone is making it their worldwide headquarters. Yeah, and they're so doing really it's gonna well. It's going to be with the it. Dry Zone Red Barn worldwide <laughs> headquarters. But anyway, so that's going to be their corporate offices and their base camp. So I got the stuff that I've got to get rid excuse of. Excuse me, I'm losing <laughs> my voice here. I've got to get rid of it. So when you see things like. 10 napkins for $3. When you see Bubba Gump, FedEx, or Heinz t-shirts, brand new with the tag right on them, $19.99. They, no, they have no armpit stains, and they have no mouth stains, okay? And we're selling them, what, four for $10? Yep. Now, if you want to sustain them up, you know, to make the deal sound better. Right. We'll or wear them. Them. Right. Exactly. Yeah, wear them. Right. Um, We're all about customer service. All about so. customer service, you know. But if we want to get some mice and let them run all through them. But what we're saying is when you see stuff like this, they're no-brainers. Yeah. And that's why we have people that have yard sales go to different places and set up a table and sell stuff, come in and buy the stuff. Sure. People that bought the bubble bath, they come in and they buy it. I don't know if they're reselling it or what they're doing. But here's another one. Vehicle air fresheners. Seven of them. For a dollar. Now think about that one. I got to go shopping. Seven for a dollar. Okay. Now if I'd have said you needed seven car fresheners in your car, you'd have been offended. I would have. <laughs> but I'm thinking, man, I'll you know, buy seven of them. Stock put one in. Put, you know, wait, wait till that's gone. Put another one in. There you go. <laughs> and then so. you know, put one in my wife's stocking. Not to yeah. imply anything. And <laughs> not that her stocking stink. <laughs> All right, so what it is, what's this one called? Gifts, $10 and under. Yep. We're, I wonder if it's on the website. I bet it is. Yes. Go to wellers.com, click on there and look at that and say, guys, here's a 40-piece socket wrench set, $9.97. Yeah, some of these so, deals are just you know, And a lot of them, there's a ploy behind it, folks, and I'm sure you're going to pick up on it real quick. We want to get you in the door. Absolutely. We want to meet you. We want to greet you. We want the opportunity for you to, to say hi to us and walk around our showroom and look around. You know, uh, there's no sales tax unless you demand that we charge it. So, anyway, hey, I'm going to take a break. It's time for a break. I'll be back. Now, go to WellerDoesDelmarva.com real quick. Click on there and watch us during the break. And I'll be back in a couple minutes. Weller Does Delmarva. Johnson from the Delaware 1059 Weather Center. Waking up in the morning, you need accurate weather information to start your day. That's why I'm here every morning to give you the three day forecast for Sussex and Kent County. You're invited to check in with us every morning on the Dan Gaffney Show and throughout your busy day for weather updates from the Delaware 1059 Weather Center, the area's most reliable and accurate forecast you can depend on every day on Delaware 1059. Now your three-day forecast for Sussex and Kent counties from the Delaware 1059 Weather Center. After an overnight low of 42, later for your Saturday, cloudy with rain and a high of 58. Sunday, rain hangs around for a little bit, mainly in the morning. It stays cloudy, cooler, the high 48. And for Monday, more clouds on the way, the high Monday, 49. Thanks for listening to Delaware 1059 on your radio. And for your convenience, streaming live online. Visit Delaware1059.com to hear local news and talk for Delmarva online, streaming 24-7. Sponsored in part by Dart First State. Let Dart do the driving. Save money, save gas, ride greener. Bus routes statewide between Rehoboth, Georgetown, Dover, and Wilmington. Delaware 1059, streaming live at Delaware1059.com. Are you interested in an indoor fireplace or even a fireplace or fire pit for outdoors? How about an outdoor kitchen? Do you have questions on patio paving projects? Questions on commercial or residential chimney, roofing, or fireplace projects? You're in luck. Listen Saturday mornings with me from 1030 to 11. And call in with your questions during the Wurtz & Company Home Improvement Tips Program. Wurtz & Company has an outstanding reputation for top quality products and workmanship. Wurtz & Company, since 1926. News update. I'm Gary Nod. A second rescue attempt to free American journalist Luke Summers has failed. 
He'd been held hostage by al-Qaeda in Yemen since September last year. CBS News correspondent David Martin tells how the Friday attempt went down. The SEALs went in and then hiked toward that location, but somewhere along the way, and we don't know yet how this happened, they, they lost the element of uh, surprise, and people who were holding Summers uh, were able to uh, turn their guns on him. Summers was airlifted to a U.S. ship offshore where he was pronounced dead, also killed in the raid, a South African aid worker. There were several other casualties. SEALs killed six of the hostage holders in the firefight, and there are no reports of any injuries to any of the uh, members of the rescue mission. It was also an unsuccessful effort to rescue Summers on Monday. President Obama has sent condolences to the Summers family. CBS News Update, I'm Gary Nunn. I'll never forget that, that moment. moment. As long as I live. It was a moment. It was a moment that changed my life. We looked down from the chopper and saw the whole area was flooded. At that moment, it really hit me. This is why I joined the Guard. People had gone up to the rooftops to escape the rising waters. Talk about an intense moments. We had to lower the guys on line some 30 feet down. This is where teamwork and training really paid off. It took steady nerves and steady hands for the chopper pilots to hover like that. No question. Guard pilots are the best in the world. I couldn't believe it. I just saved a life. What could be better than serving the people of my hometown? In the National Guard, you serve your community as well as your country while you work or attend college. In return, you gain skills in which you can build a career and receive benefits that can help you pay for college. Learn more about what it means to be a citizen soldier at NationalGuard.com. Sponsored by the Maryland National Guard and aired by the Maryland, D.C., Delaware Broadcasters Association and this station. Winter weather can throw your whole day for a loop. And that's why we're here with the Winter Weather Watch. When schools are closed, businesses are delayed, the latest storm updates, we've got you covered on the air, online, and on your phone. We'll give you the latest closing information right here on the air. It's available anytime by going to our website, and you can even get text alerts on closing updates sent right to your phone. It's the Winter Weather Watch on Delaware 105.9. Brought to you by Winter Ford Hyundai and Winter Subaru Volkswagen in Dover. Shopping for a new Ford, Hyundai, Subaru, Volkswagen, or a well-maintained local trade? Shop online at winterdover.com for Central Delaware's best selection and lowest prices. At winterdover.com, they'll make you a great deal today. Get the latest closings and delay information and find out how to get text alerts sent right to your phone at delaware1059.com. Hi, I'm Christina Lassard with Lassard Builders. If you are looking for a new home, one of your biggest challenges is trying to force your family's current and future needs into a specific home plan. At Lassard Builders, our goal is to build a true custom home where you can make changes or add features to one of our plans or we'll help you design your own. Whether downsizing or expanding, we're hand in hand with my father and third generation builder to build the home that suits your family's current and future needs. Stop by our model home in the East Villages of Five Points or online at LassardBuilders.com. Keeping it local is important to third-generation builder Brian Lassard and the Lassard Builders team. They are loyal to local contractors, businesses, and continually give back by volunteering and serving on nonprofit boards. They have a new blog called Live Delaware, dedicated to supporting locally owned and operated organizations. Join in by going to LassardBuilders.com and clicking on the Live Delaware tab. Live Delaware is just a reminder to keep it local in the nation's small wonder. The entire team at Response Computer Group would like to take this opportunity to thank their customers for their business, support, and trust as your IT professional. The success of Response Computer Group is and has always been due to the hardworking employees and faithful customers. They provide a full range of computer solutions and repairs for both business and consumers. They're located in the Independence Commons just off Airport Road in Milford. Response Computer Group wishes you a Merry Christmas and a fresh and bright new year. Holiday shopping just got easier. Come to Atlantic Pond, the shopping destination that will put more under the tree and take less out of your pocket. Get quality like new items for a fraction of the price, no matter what's on their list. And if it's fine jewelry you want, shop where the jeweler shops. The jewelry box right in Atlantic Pond. You've got a friend in the diamond business on fine and estate jewelry, and you'll never pay retail again. Atlantic Pond, three great locations in the Rodney Village Shopping Center in Dover, the State Line Shopping Plaza in Delmar, and Route 113 North in Millsboro. 
How to cash for less. It's a great way to get money. What are you singing? Just a song I made up about holiday cash for less. What's holiday cash for less? A great way to get the money you need for the holiday. Make the holidays special this year. Borrow $500, $1,000, $1,500, or more, but with a payment that won't turn you into a Scrooge after the holidays. Call Atlantic Finance now at 422-3484 and get your holiday cash for less. Atlantic Finance, Delmarva's local lender. The comments, views, and opinions expressed on the air at Delaware 105.9 are those of the hosts, callers, and guests, and not those of staff, management, or advertisers at Delmarva Broadcasting Company. The following program is a paid commercial presentation. The comments, views, and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect the views of the staff, management, or advertisers of Delaware 105.9. Wow, that was a quick break. <laughs> Brooks Ritter. We're back, everybody. Uh, we had to take a break. had to get my hair straight. Took forever to find it, but now I'm good. So you're listening to Weller Does Del Marva. We're having a good time here at Weller's Utility Trailers in Bridgeville. We're tucked away in my office, and I wanted to mention another one of my sponsors. This guy here, we have been keeping him busy. His name is Scott Sockwriter. He owns Professional Power Wash. All started, did some work for my daughter, my daughter's neighbor, did some work for me, did a house I have in Milton, cleaned the roof on my house, did my son's house. Real good guy. So if you need some power washing, um, I don't know if this is the time of the year to get it done or not, but he's still doing some for me. But anyway, if you need your house power washed or you've got some equipment you want to get cleaned up or, you know, a barn or a shed or sidewalks or driveways or pretty much anything, he does truck, fleet washing, tractors, combines, um, even restaurant hood cleaning. Give him a call. Real good guy. I found him to be very, very, very fair on his prices. Hard worker. Been doing it for about 12 years. Um, and I want to just give you his phone number here in a minute. But, you know, about a 2,000 to 3,000 square foot house runs anywhere from 200 to $300. Anywhere in there. And he actually will do work in Pennsylvania all the way to Virginia. In other words, from, well, I'll say from Pennsylvania all the way to Virginia and everywhere in between. So he gets around. I talked to him, or I didn't really talk to him, talked to him through Facebook, but I believe he does some work, did some work up in Wilmington this week. So it's Professional Power Wash. His name is Scott Sockrider, real nice guy. 858 is the number, 858-9568, 858-9568. Give him a call, and if you would like to save some money, with him you have to say these words jim weller said if i mention his name or weller does delmarva that you will give me a discount and he will and the discount is 20 percent now he won't give that discount to jim weller but he's giving it to everybody else but anyway so give him a call 858-9568 20 percent discount by mentioning my show give him a call today scott Sockwriter. oh i forgot to mention his facebook and website Oh, that would get me in trouble. His website, theprofessionalpowerwash.com, and that's on the World Wide Web, not the local web, theprofessionalpowerwash.com. And then on Facebook, it's Power Washing Delaware on Facebook. So he looks for every time I mention his name, he's looking for another 100 likes. So it's Power Washing Delaware on Facebook. Please, if you don't do anything, like him, okay? That restaurant hood cleaning sounds like like a, a, a way an to ongoing go. never-ending business because i'm like you know i've been in some restaurants and seen those hoods, hood and clean. i'm like wow i would not want to have to clean that <laughs> so no because uh, <laughs> no matter what you got to be looking up in it at some point exactly so anyway real good guy so um i wanted to let you know that um i went somewhere the other day and this has nothing to do with food Okay, and I went to that granite place, and uh, Mark Johnson is here with me. Mark, good morning to you. Good morning. Merry Christmas, Brooks. Merry Christmas, Jim. Yeah, we're Christmas. excited about Christmas. It's it's getting close. Isn't yep. It? I saw your nativity set um, out in front of your business. In sure, other words, yeah. all lit up at night and my, everything. Uh, my father, Donald Johnson, made that. Uh, he made a few of them for the churches, and he made a couple that we decorate with. Probably, gosh, Jim, that's probably uh, 20, 25 years old, and it's sort of a a family tradition for us setting that up really? every year. So we decided this year, you know, let's put it where, where more people can see it. Uh, I live on kind of a busy road in Milford, but okay. we thought this would be great, and I, I want to decorate up the uh, the shop down at that granite place. So 
uh, it fit right in there, and uh, boy, have I gotten some comments about it, and I really, really am, uh, am pleased with how it looks out yeah. there. So. Um, I'm, I'm thankful that you did it, to be honest with you. We live in a day and time where a lot of people don't even really know what Christmas is all about. You well, know? I, I'm a big kid. I get excited so, at Christmas. Yep, so I, do I do, too. I do, too. Anyway, so your business is called That Granite Place. That's okay, correct. And I believe, in all honesty, in talking to you, that's what it was called when a previous owner had it. It, it was, yeah. It was uh, under that name. Uh, it's actually the facility's been there, and and some of the experts doing the work have been there for years, under a couple different names over the past probably fifteen years, something okay. like that. Um, it was actually a, a larger company that was uh, had some different locations over on the other side of the bridge, along oh, with okay. this one, and just over the years it evolved as businesses do and. And um, it was owned by, by someone else up until a couple years ago. And okay. then I had the opportunity to, to purchase it. And it um, was a dream of mine, anyway, to, to have my own business. And, and um, kind of did my homework and, and researched it. And, and that business, the folks that were there, uh, the quality they were doing was just really off the charts in my mind. It just needed uh, a few things that I felt I could help bring to the business. And um, as we all do, any business right. owner feels like they can, right. they can bring something to it. So I uh, had the opportunity, was just absolutely blessed and fortunate enough to have the opportunity to venture into it and purchase the business and um, took it over. And actually, I, I kept my day job. Really? Well, so I, I kept my day job. Well, then you for, must have some extremely good employees. Uh, excellent. For you to be able to keep your day job and for it to grow like it's been growing. Absolutely. And wow. uh, that was that was the big uh, the big plus was the group there was so knowledgeable and um, you know my vision is to grow the business to be a part of the community to uh, really be able to to give back to the community. And of course, the community is helping us by by the growth we've we've seen. We're growing right. like crazy. Um, and we've actually gotten large enough that uh, I was able to quit my day job, and now okay. I, I only have one day job. So now you get to work even more. I do, absolutely. <laughs> so very excited about that. And what I noticed is when I was there, I wouldn't even call your help really good help as much as I would call them artists. Like, they were working on that granite like they were painting a picture. That's the best way to describe it. Um, you know, there's a huge mechanical process with it, as you saw. But um, the... Um, uh, to make the product the next step, to make it really um, the showpiece in a home, which is what granite is, granite, right. quartz, marble, we, we do all that. Because people um, polish a granite countertop. They, they do, yep. It's, they it, don't necessarily polish a, um, what's the other kind? Uh, there's laminate that's yeah. stuck on there. I don't think people and, polish laminate no, countertops. No, and it's hard to clean, and there's some things like that. So, But when we finish the, um, the granite working with it with the machines a lot of companies you know it's good quality you can send it out then a lot of companies send it right out then to the customer we don't we go ahead and go the extra step and our artisans work on it they work the edges better they work the, I like that seam it's like it's seamless it, pretty much when so. they're done I don't, I, I'm like I don't even know how you do that it, it's it there is an art form to it it's almost like you know I, I liken it to uh, body work on a car you know a, okay. a, a guy restoring a classic car that does does really good body work you know a good one you see a bad right. one. anybody can get the paint on exactly in other words it's, but it's, you know you to get make it, it so yeah to get it almost and, flawless and you they know? do this with the granite and um it's quite a process and and it does take an eye and and the granite is is moving around too as you saw a lot of movement right. um it's it's a, a natural product so no two pieces are the same that's what makes it beautiful but marrying those up when you have a scene yeah. uh, really takes it, – it's an artwork. And uh, But you can line up some of the – I noticed, like, out there you have all these slabs. So then I got to thinking, well, what happens if, you know, I pick a slab and then that slab after – you need more than one slab. It looks like you have more than one slab in stock. We do. We, we have the largest like buying power in the area. So what well, we do – and the, the key to that is – whether you, whether you use us or, or someone else, you want to make sure that your granite provider um, has enough buying power to buy consecutively numbered slabs. They're actually I noticed they, that they have right. serial numbers on them, and you want slab you know for lack of a better term slab one and two to match up. And if you have a you know a small shop and you can only buy with slab one, and then you need two slabs for that job, and you call your vendor it could be on and slab forty seven could be on forty seven by the time they get you another right. one. I, we I buy bundles, so if yeah. you notice, we had we have all consecutive numbers. And that way we can put them together, and and when we seam them up, that keeps them keeps them right very consistent, and that's the key to making a beautiful job. All right. 
obviously. Well, I was like, I'm an inventory guy. I like inventory. So I was thinking, though, I was, my thoughts were this. Well, this guy has made an investment to make sure his customers, number one, have a selection. And number Absolutely. two, if they wanted their backsplash to be part of it, or if they wanted, I don't know if it's a vein or a grain or whatever mm -hmm. you call it, uh, a design. It's all, yep, flowing, all of the above. It's critical that you have the next series of that slab. It really is. And the knowledge to know how to, to purchase them that way and to put them together and, and end up with a great finished product. Yeah, but I was thinking if I didn't know that, I would settle for this line not matching up with that line, not thinking I could get them all to flow. Sure, sure. So. That's that's what that's what uh, we're paid for, and and that's why we want to try to educate you know our customers. Well, well, that's Mark Johnson. Um, I want to just give your website real quick, and uh, folks, I'm going to let him come back on here in a few more minutes. But um, what is your website? If in the meantime, uh, our website is www.thatgraniteplace.com. Granite that place granite place com. Place com. Okay, we'll go there for a while, folks. Mark's in here if you want to look at him. He's uh, quite a young man here. Um, <laughs> I'm not anyway, that young. <laughs> um, you can go to WellerDoesDelmarva.com, but I want to hit a couple other things, Thanks. and then I'll, I'll come back to Mark and talk a little bit more. Um, I got some pieces here when I was there. I got all kinds of things I observed while I was there, but it was a really nice place. And um, I wanted to also mention – that we are going to be open here at Weller's. I don't want to forget that because uh, we got a busy day ahead of us. But my wife's brother, Chuck Ferguson, makes mats. And um, he makes mats out of tires. And today, in other words, I used to do this like 20, 30 years ago. Take a junk tire and make a mat. And everybody's seen them. You wipe your feet on. The sad thing about that business was they never wore out and the daggone things wouldn't blow away. Okay? <laughs> so anyway, um, it was like, holy mackerel, all you could hope for is somebody gave it away or it got stolen. But anyway, he bought my equipment and he is making mats out of junk tires. And so he is up at the Lipstick Fire Hall today and they're having a big uh, bazaar, I guess you would call it. So, um, Stop by there, too, and if you see him, tell him I said hi, okay? He's the Matt Man, okay? The Matt right. Man. The Matt Man. And you know another big thing going on today? i got to thumb through my notes, but one of the people that I really like to talk about is my friend Dave Wilson, Wilson's Auction. They're in Lincoln. Uh, he's been in business quite a while. Does a good job for us, his business, and the community. But today, there is a big auction. Do you realize how much is going on today? Today, it sounds like it's a very busy day. Yeah. And you need um, to stop at Weller's, too. Yeah, on the way <laughs> to get a trailer to haul whatever you're buying, wherever you're going. Exactly. Right. And if you don't need it, we'll send people to you to uh, borrow it. Sure. How's that? That's a fair deal, right? Yep. You buy the trailer, and we'll send you people that will borrow it. You buy it today, I'll borrow it from you today. There you go. Uh, we probably get asked uh, five times a day to at least. lend a trailer, right? At least. And at least three times a week to give one away. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, uh, Taylor and Messick in Harrington has a big annual consignment auction, and today they're having it. Wilson's Auction is the company that has always done it, and it starts today at 9 a.m. And, man, they got some stuff. Like, they got lawn and garden lawn mowers and gators and things like that. Then they also have some uh, tillage and planter equipment and sprayers and hay equipment, combines. I've always wanted to own a combine. Um, I went to, I think, a combine demolition derby one time. I forgot where that was, but I did for real. That, so I, get, I just can't fathom <laughs> that. <laughs> but anyway, they're not having a combine demolition derby today. But there's zero turn mowers and all kinds of stuff. So if you need an auctioneer, Dave Wilson and his team, Wade Wilson, and um, all the different people that work there with him, they're a good group of people. They have a car auction on Tuesday nights. They do estate auctions. But what Dave wants everybody to know is this. If you bid $100 at his auction, whether you're buying a license plate or you're buying furniture or washer and dryer or refrigerator or a box of stuff, you're going to pay $100. What you bid is what you pay. And he is very proud that his company does not charge you any more than what you bid. So his point to that is some auctioneers charge an additional fee. Wilson's auction, what you bid is what you pay for cash paying and check paying customers. So it's Wilson's auctions. Wilson's Auction, okay? Now, another thing they have that's kind of neat, over the years, Delaware 
has been kind of really known for people selling tags, low-digit tags. If you go to wilsonsauction.com, you can click on where it says, I think, Delaware Tags or something like that, and you can see what tag prices have done over the years. Uh, they've went up. They've went down. They're on the upcline, upcline. They're going up again. So anyway, if you need an auctioneer, I highly recommend Dave Wilson and his team, Wilson's Auction in Lincoln City, Delaware, 422-3454, 422-3454. And, of course, every Saturday starting at about 10 o'clock in the morning, well into the evening, they have a big auction right there at their facility in Lincoln. So today is no exception. They're actually there as well as they're also at Taylor and Messick doing that big uh, consignment auction. So check them out, Wilson's Auction. Tell them I sent you real good people to deal with. Um, other than that, you are listening to my show, Jim Weller here live with Brooks Ritter. We're doing Weller Does Delmarva. Got a lot of stuff going on. I've mentioned as much as I can mention. Gearing up for Christmas. Uh, we said we'd give you a free Weller Does Delmarva coffee mug if you come in and find Brooks Ritter and say, I want one. Got to have it. Can't live without it. Okay. Yeah, and, they, and they're nice mugs, so you need to come in and take a look at Tell them how nice they are, Brooks. They are real nice. I Very think they are some of the best. They've got the emblem on the bottom. China. Oh, what Dang, does it come from there What anymore? does it come from China? <laughs> I know what doesn't come from China. His marble and granite at that granite place doesn't come from China. Cool. I hope not, right? <laughs> no, okay. He's sitting over there thinking, I don't know why he said that. <laughs> <laughs> but my mind went to, what in the world can you buy nowadays? Yeah. Our flagpoles. Now, yeah. not all of them. Well, some of them, yes. We have one made. Here's what's terrible. What do we have? A flagpole, this 20-foot tall aluminum telescopic flagpole made in China. Yep. $99.99. Yep. Now you got the good American-made one, and you can see the difference, man. I mean, and that's Absolutely. why we got the other one right next to the other one. If but you it's, just grab but one it's pole $299, grab the other pole. right. Just, just touching them, not even right. looking at all the difference. It's right, just, just touching them. them. You, you can, can feel, feel the a difference. difference. Yep. But um, it is what it is. We are a society that loves a good deal. Absolutely. I hate it. I hate it. Ain't nothing I can do about it, but I hate it, you know? Yep. But it is what it is. So Weller's Utility Trailers is going to be open here at 9 o'clock. we got a lot of neat stuff. But I do have another giveaway. I'll wait a little while before I mention that. It's not even 8 o'clock. I'll wait a little bit before I mention that. So, Brooks, what do you want somebody to come buy from you today? Well, I need to sell a few trailers today. I'm, I am a trailer behind on the on the board. Okay. So I want to uh, – I want, don't want to – How do you like the prices? Way? The prices are great. Are you pleased? Yeah, they're really, really. I did good. that, folks. I did the prices. <laughs> okay. And and not, I mean, and, and they were great deals before. Right. And all we're trying to do is is try to hit have thousand. Yeah, you know, a big end of the year, and we're trying to hit the thousand trailer mark, and and we're we're coming up on it. We just we need a little bit of extra help just to get right. there. So come on out, check them out. They're they're really good deals, and. Um, I mean, everything's a good deal. There's 2015 trailers that are good deals out there. There's used right, trailers I, I that are good deals out there. I put them all on there. sale. Yep. I mean, it's just. Man, we got the used ones. Yes, we do. Got a nice 24-foot enclosed in the other day. Have you had a chance to look at that? I, the outside. I haven't got a chance to look at the inside. Oh, yet. man, this is a 24-foot enclosed. It has the heavier axles, 10,000-pound rating. Mm -hmm. It has like an L-shaped base cabinet up front. So it goes across the front and down the driver's side wall just a little bit. I saw it has, has a generator, a generator compartment. compartment, has yep. a door on the outside for that, has an overhead cabinet. It has two eight-foot fluorescent lights inside. Nice. Has a black and white vinyl floor, diamond plate aluminum on the ramp. Wow. It's hard to imagine. I remembered all that. It's even got an escape door on the Yes, it does. Yep, yes, it does. That. So um, I don't know how much it is. And you know what else we got in that deal? I got a note right here on it. You didn't sell the four-wheeler yet, did you? Not yet, but we have some really strong prospects. So okay. if you're, well, you're looking it, for a four-wheeler, you need to get it. It still may be here this morning, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, but it's a 2010. I don't know if it was garage cap, but it sure looks like it. It looks I mean, like it's, it's clean, very clean. Very clean. Um, it's called an ES420. Um, what do I know about it? I know it has tail light and brake lights. That's no big deal. It has a headlight with a high and low beam. That's no big deal. Who's writing all this stuff down here for me? <laughs> Everything's got a headlight with a high beam and a low beam. All right, it's got a digital readout. That might be different. It's got an hour meter odometer. It's fuel injected. Now, that's different. I know that's a big deal. Fuel injected, electric start. That's a real big deal, especially when it works. Sure. Okay? There's <laughs> nothing like not having to pull that oh. string. So, uh, anyway, um, it's got a parking brake, very clean, fuel gauge, 
Okay, that's not a real big deal either. Come on, Brooks, what's not a big deal? Oh, it's only got 244 hours. That's a big deal. deal. That's a big deal. So anyway, um, it's got a manual transmission with an automatic clutch. I like that. It's got reverse. That's a big deal. Because I've had four wheelers that didn't have reverse. Yeah, and now the in the manual transmission, yes. you don't have to use your foot to change the the gear, right? It's got a like an auto, like a like push are you button. telling slash asking me? Yes, telling slash. I have asking. no idea. I believe that it has a, like a button that you just push to change the gear. Oh, get out of town! There's you don't no have way. to, you know. Oh, is it one? You know, up one, down down one. You know, you don't have to remember all that. You, you think just, there's a thumb button? There's a thumb button for the for the shifting. I think you're wrong. That's what I was told. Who were you told that by? <laughs> Brandon? The guy, that, the guy that went and got it. <laughs> okay. All right. So listen, folks, I'm, I'm not endorsing that last statement, okay? <laughs> You're going to have to come here and find that out for yourself. So anyway. Um, but anyway, if you want a four-wheeler, whether you want to give it as a Christmas gift or you've just made up your mind you can't live without one any longer, or if you have one and it's lonely and it needs a companion, we have a great deal on a Honda Rancher 420 four-wheeler in mint condition all right and where is that at wellers utility trailers where are we we're right on route 13 in bridgeville city delaware we'll take good care of you what is the phone number 337-8228 if you are listening you may be able to pick up on the fact that we really enjoy doing this show absolutely this is a lot of fun we have a lot of fun so and we are for hire i mentioned that earlier i just don't want anybody to forget because we got a couple things coming up where we're going to be going to this business and this business and stuff like that. But um, And that's we, a lot of fun because you get to see what other people are doing. Oh, and all the challenges of oh, the, the yeah. wire comes unplugged. Oh, my goodness. It's stressful for me. Hey, I, I'm going to tell you a great video, <laughs> and you probably haven't even watched it. Watch last week's video when I'm telling you I think we're off the air. <laughs> I can, like, I can see I'm it like, in your face. Oh, I'm wringing my hands. I'm like, man, I, I don't even know what to do. In like, other words. I, I hear the radio. <laughs> I, am I not on? <laughs> <laughs> so if you're listening and you want a good laugh, go to Weller Does Del Marva and take a look at the very beginning of last week's show. Um, the, I left that on there simply for the, the internet <laughs> wire came unhooked. Oh. And I'm thinking it's all Brooks. Yeah, I was. I'm like. Wait a second, what's going on? And then I, you know, I had to trace a couple of things because that dag on internet. When there's when there's when there's stuff like this and electronics are involved, there's a number of different things it could be. So it's oh, like you got to start eliminating. All right, what's going? on? And then I realized that my computers didn't have the little the little thing came up where it didn't have the internet. I'm like, well, it's not going to work without the internet. So. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, hey, real quick, speaking of internet, have we sold many of them tablets still? Oh my goodness, a lot. Are they like seventy seven fifty? Seventy seven fifty for the tablet. Okay. Or we have a package for ninety seven fifty. You get a tablet. You get a a. Uh, you get too much case stuff there. with a keyboard. Yeah. You get a uh, cleaner for it, and you also get earbuds. headphones. Ear, earbuds. Earbuds. Yeah. They're juicy earbuds. Juicy earbuds. Okay. Great. Hey, I want to take a break. Do you mind? That's fine. All right, so we're going to take a break, <laughs> folks. I'll be back in a couple minutes. Weller does Delmarva. Go to wellerdoesdelmarva.com real quick and see what we do during the break. Bye. Local news first on Delaware 105.9. Want to do a smart thing this holiday season? We suggest you shop in local businesses. For every $100 spent at locally owned stores, most of that money stays right here in the local economy. But when you shop online, nothing comes home. You see, where you shop does make a difference. This is General Manager Mike Hazala reminding you that what you spend here stays here. Keep it local this holiday season. For great ideas on how you can help keep it local this holiday season, check out the Keep It Local Holiday Gift Guide at Delaware1059.com. Chock full of local businesses with great holiday gift ideas and special offers like Holland Jewelers. Holland Jewelers 25th Annual Storewide Christmas Sale is going on now for Christmas Eve. Get an exceptional gift at an exceptional price at Holland Jewelers, Route 24, Peddler's Village Shopping Center in Lewis. Happy Holidays from Delaware 105.9. CBS News, I'm Gary Nunn. A second attempt to free American journalist Luke Summers, held hostage in Lemon, has ended in a tragic outcome. 
CBS News correspondent Kenny McCormick in Washington reports it was a daring raid. CBS News has learned this raid was carried out by Navy SEALs who flew into Yemen on Osprey aircraft and hiked to the location where Summers was being held. This location was more populated than the site of the first rescue attempt on Monday night. Apparently, the SEALs were detected, and according to Defense Secretary Hagel, Summers' captors had time to kill him. A second hostage identified as Pierre Corky of South Africa also was killed in the raid. Six Al-Qaeda hostage takers also died. All Navy SEALs are okay. Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel is making an unannounced trip to Afghanistan, saying he's confident in the ability of Afghan forces to defend Kabul following a surge in the number of Taliban attacks. He spoke with reporters aboard the flight saying... As always, is important in these situations uh, uh, a first-hand assessment of uh, where we are, uh, what needs we still have. Hagel says that Afghans are far better off now than they were 13 years ago when U.S. troops first arrived. No motive has been determined for a bizarre stabbing attack last night aboard a Chicago to Port Huron, Michigan Amtrak train. Niles, Michigan Police Chief Jim Millen says that three passengers and the train conductor were wounded. Our dispatch center received a call advising that they had a subject on the train that was acting a little odd. Our officers were dispatched up here, and while they were en route, at some point, the uh, male suspect on the train did assault at least four individuals on the train with a knife. 172 passengers were aboard that train. Polls are opening right now in Louisiana where voters are deciding the remaining Senate race left over from the midterm elections. Democratic incumbent Mary Landrieu and Republican challenger Bill Cassidy are facing each other in a runoff. CBS News Director of Elections, Anthony Silvanto. Landrieu is running in a state that has taken a much more conservative turn over recent years. Her loss would be the last of the Democratic senators in the Deep South. Another night of street demonstrations, people upset with conduct by law enforcement and the U.S. justice system now that grand juries in New York and Missouri have failed to find sufficient evidence to prosecute cops in the deaths of two black men. KCBS reporter Mark Seelig watched one protest in Oakland. Several windows of local businesses were shattered and buildings were spray painted. At around 11 p.m., police moved in and surrounded the group, forcing the demonstrators to split up. Several were arrested. They say they'll be back again this weekend seeking justice for minorities who they say often fall victim to heavy-handed police tactics. Oil prices at a five-year low, gasoline pump prices sliding, energy expert John Huffmeister. The combination of U.S. increased production, Saudi steady as she goes, Russia steady as she goes, we simply have too much oil right now in the world. Oil prices right now below $66 a barrel. This is CBS News. This is the sound of skiers in the back country. And these are hikers out on a trail with their new gear from REI. <sighs> At REI, we know you love the outdoors. And here's something else you'll love. Great deals on outdoor gifts for the holidays. Save up to 30% on selected items each week, now through December 17th. Shop your local REI or go to REI.com. All coughs aren't the same, and neither are all cough medicines. Robitussin's powerful dual-action formula relieves even the toughest coughs. Wet, <coughs> dry, <coughs> and hacking. <coughs> Fast, powerful Robitussin DM Max fights your cough and helps clear the congestion that comes with it. Robitussin, don't suffer the consequences. Use as directed. This week, stock up with special Robitussin bonus packs. Available at Walmart for a low price every day. A new medical study raises questions about how older men with prostate cancer are receiving treatment. Your CBS News correspondent Barry Bagnato. A UCLA study warns that half of older prostate cancer patients are being over-treated with surgery, radiation, or implants of radioactive seeds. National guidelines discourage these therapies for men with low to medium grade cancer who have life expectancies under 10 years. Using them not only raises health care costs unnecessarily, it exposes these older men to significant side effects such as urinary and bowel problems. The study appears in the journal Cancer. Remington is recalling several million rifles and shotguns. The company says there may be problems with the triggers on the weapons. Remington is asking owners to stop using all Model 700, Model 7, and Model 887 weapons. Los Angeles police are checking out an assault claim against Bill Cosby. The woman says he molested her when she was 15. At least 21 women have now made claims against the comedian in recent weeks. Gary Nunn, CBS News. This is the sound of skiers in the backcountry. 
And these are hikers out on a trail with their new gear from REI. Oh. At REI, we know you love the outdoors. And here's something else you'll love. Great deals on outdoor gifts for the holidays. Save up to 30% on selected items each week, now through December 17th. Shop your local REI or go to REI.com. All coughs aren't the same, and neither are all cough medicines. Robitussin's powerful dual-action formula relieves even the toughest coughs. Wet, <coughs> dry, <coughs> and hacking. <coughs> Fast, powerful Robitussin DM Max fights your cough and helps clear the congestion that comes with it. Robitussin, don't suffer the cough consequences. Use as directed. This week, stock up with special Robitussin bonus packs. Available at Walmart for a low price every day. The comments, views, and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect the views of the staff, management, or advertisers of Delaware 105.9. <coughs> Got to clear my throat. <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody. We are back. If you my goodness. If you would have told me you had to clear your throat, I wouldn't have made the mic hot so quick. Oh, okay. No problem, <laughs> Brooks. I got you. Um, anyway, folks, we're having a good time here. You're listening to Weller Does Del Marva, and um, we have a lot going on. And um, I wanted to mention First Class Heating and Air. I mentioned them earlier on, but uh, they do heating, they do air conditioning, they do plumbing, they do electrical, they do home performance. And you say, what in the world is a home performance? It's like taking your car to have it tuned up. You can actually tune your house up and have it more efficient. We did one of the shows at my house, and they had this, I don't know what it was called, an infrared gun or something, Flare. where they pointed it here and there, and you could see heat loss. And it was amazing because you think, oh, I got it. I got insulation everywhere. Well, you ain't got it around them little can lights going through your ceiling. In other words, you know, you're losing all your heat right up around the light bulb and up into the up into the rafters, but they have different things they can do about that. So first class heating and air not only does heating and air conditioning, but they do these home performance tests. And another thing that they do do is they background check all their guys. They um, drug test them. Their vehicles are lettered. They're wearing uniforms. And I like all that kind of stuff. They've been serving Delmarva and Maryland. I guess that's why they call it Delmarva. Yeah, it includes Delaware Maryland. And Maryland. Yeah. Um, <laughs> for like 40 years locally owned locally operated good people they also offer 24 7 emergency service and they're just good people to deal with so if you're sitting there listening saying i kind of need my heater worked on or my air conditioner or i want to make sure everything's working they even do plumbing like right down to a new toilet or a kitchen sink and they'll give you a firm price for the work in other words if they say this is what and they even offer financing Wow. So uh, it, it's amazing. <laughs> so like if I needed heating and air and I wanted to remodel my bathroom while I'm at it, I could just put it all into one thing, you know. So um, anyway. Um, that firm price thing is a big deal. Because it is. I've been places where oh, it's going yeah. to be blank, blank. And then I get that. Okay, go ahead and do it. And I get there. And it's $100, $200, $300 more right. than what they told me. I'm like, it. if it needed more things, at least tell me. But Correct. I, they I weren't telling you, Brooks. Yeah, after it was done and telling me All that right. I owe blank, blank money. Well, well, you just said tell me. <laughs> tell me before the fact. All right. Because you never like to go get, you know, go pick up your product or go, you're finished. Okay, it's going to be blank, blank, and it's more than what you were expecting because you I got were told your point, a number. Okay? I, got I feel you. you're venting now. <laughs> Calm down. Stand away from the microphone. I'm making a point that that's a big deal. That big deal. Big First class eating and air, good people to deal with. Brooks Ritter says getting a price up front is a big deal. Yes. So, and especially <laughs> if you stick to the price. Absolutely. I was happy with them, whether they did my heating work, whatever they did for me, they did the the plumbing part they did the electrical part i dealt with one person and one company and i like that 934 8900 934 8900 first class hvac.com great company please tell them i sent you i get a dollar every time i send them a customer <laughs> and if you have any questions about them feel free to call me i've uh i've uh sent a lot of people there and they've done a good job for me so but um I want to go back to Mark Johnson. I was very impressed with your business. How you doing there, Mark? I'm doing great. I'm doing How are you enjoying great. the show? This show is, is a blast. You guys just smile the whole time. You're having yeah. fun. And you know something? I drive Smiles by are here. Free. No, they are free. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Every time I drive by here, I drive by here multiple times a day, and I, I see how much product you have on your lot, how it's many crazy. trailers you have, how many things. Then I walk in the door, and the, the stuff you have in here is just, I mean, if you want to do your Christmas shopping, there is 
everything in the world. What did I, you see interesting? I saw generators. I saw, as I'm pulling in, I see trailers. Actually, I'm, I'm you know my mind's kind of spinning, and I'm thinking my wife would probably love a trailer for Christmas. There you that go. That I could just go buy more car parts and stuff and put on it, and you know hey. music stuff, but uh, generators, all those things. But um, well, you, if a trailer makes your wife happy, happy wife. Happy life. I, you know, I, buy I, two if you have to. I think what it is is the, the one I have is starting <laughs> to get scratched up and looks kind of bad. So she may just want one that looks better. You know, there but, you go. No, there's everything in here. I mean, you you know, anything for your for your truck. If you're if you're into hunting, if you're into everything, I, I'm just amazed as you walk by. There's something you can use in, in anything. There, it yeah. just it and the prices are incredible. Oh, they are it's, they are it's, that. It, it's it blows my mind. So, I know yeah. a good salesman that you could talk to. <laughs> there you go. Brookside. After soon, nine o'clock. As soon as you open, I'm going to be doing my Christmas. Yeah. After here. nine o'clock. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. Well, back to the granite place. In other words, I noticed when I was there, he had a lot of help. Sure. We have about forty employees. Um, I, I do need to tell you something. I did notice. I noticed they all kept working when it, you were around. They didn't stop yeah. and want to know if you wanted to talk to them. They just kept right on moving and they were doing their job. And they, but they paid so much attention. Like they were working on that stuff. And they were really looking at it and just making sure it was just right. Like, they really took an interest in it. Sure. Well, they, they take a lot of pride. The, the nice thing about um, about that product is, you know, you, you see the product from start to finish. So we, we're one of the largest uh, buyers and, and uh, companies here on the shore with Granite. And so we bring product in from all over the world. It comes in from Brazil, from Spain. Really? Um, there is granite from China. We is don't there? buy any, but because oh, okay. there, there is a quality difference. And that's one thing that you need to ask uh, if you're looking at granite or quartz or anything like that. Where it comes Mainly from. granite. Where it comes from, because there are seconds that some, some companies can buy that are less expensive. But when you visually and look the at them. the only one that would know that. Would be the person selling it to the, you. The person selling it, or if if you look at it, you can tell. You can look at the quality of it. It's the reason why it would be a little bit less money is it just doesn't have the the beauty that the better. Is there even another granite place around here? I've never. Seen, oh, there, there there are many many. I've never seen this kind of inventory. Um, not like us. There's nobody that really has the inventory. We have over 900 slabs on. So there's on the that lot. granite place, and then there's everybody else. There's everybody else. That's I that's got, the way I feel about it. I mean, I I'm saying. I've never seen that amount of inventory. Does anybody have that kind of inventory? I think there's some that maybe have half as much or, or getting as close, but really? no, no one in the area is as large as us uh, that has that inventory. And, That's and quite an investment, though. It, it is. It's a big investment, but, you know, uh, <laughs> you're, you're one to talk, Jim. As you write, you have to have it to sell it. And if, it's, if it's not there for people, and, and, and granted, it's one of those items that you have to look at it, see it, feel it, touch it, um, you know, we work with builders. We work with large builders. We work with small builders. We work but with the retail. But can the, the consumer come to you? Absolutely. That's uh, that's our specialty with with our shop, which is on the northbound lane, um, just just south of, of you here, uh, on Route 13. We so have a, a sales consumer staff. can come right. Cons they don't have to deal in. through a contractor. Absolutely not. Um, most of the time they are. They're working with a contractor. But if you're a do-it-yourselfer, uh, you're just doing your own general contracting. You come in and see us. Um, you know, our, our contractors are great to work with as well. We work with a, a wonderful bunch of contractors. But Ten the, of them, 20 of them? Uh, we have about 300 customers. 300? So it's, um, uh, it's a pretty large operation, so we need Dang to keep things on. moving. But when we, I, I um, wonder you got so much going well, on down there. It, it keeps things moving. But when a homeowner comes in, a retail customer, uh, we have a sales staff that will walk you through the process. Can they beginning just walk to end. in? They can just walk in. We're open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, Saturday, really? 9 to 2. And you can just walk in. We'll take you through the selection process. We'll show you different price ranges of product. We'll show you the differences between quartz, marble, and granite. We'll show you uh, the different colors, how they match up. Uh, bring your, your cabinet door or something if you want, and, and because it looks completely different when you hold your cabinet door up to it than, uh, than it does okay. to your eye. Uh, we also offer... We do everything from beginning to end locally here. We don't ship finished product in. So, I mean... If somebody's listening and they're mm -hmm. and they're just considering it, I mean, sure. um, they could come in and they don't have to know anything. They don't have to know anything. Estimates are free. We'll walk you through the process. Um, we can. Um, we also offer the opportunity once we template your job, you can come back and we'll lay your template out on your slab, and you get to see exactly oh. what it's going to look like before it's cut. And you may change your mind then about, well, you know what, I would like it turned a little bit this way. And, oh, okay. and so we're all about being custom for you. 
uh, and providing the, be- the best so quality. This is truly custom. It, it really is. It's um, every job is 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 its own job. Uh, to Brooks's point, we do one one price. Uh, when you come in, we give you the prices of different the different stones you're looking at, and you sign a contract with us. And we don't it's it's not we don't get there and go well. Uh, now we have to do this. This is going to be a little more. We have to do that. Uh, unless you you say, well, now now I like what you're doing so much. Will you please do Add my basement? You know, right. then then that's a different story. But you're saying if you give somebody a quote for what you two have discussed, that's that is what it will be. That's the quote. It's a signed it's a signed contract agreement, and uh, we have that, and we we map out our process and and try to walk the uh, the customer through it, as well as as uh, make sure whoever you're using. Um, does the I love that you said it earlier about the background check and the drug screening. We do that do to really? be employed in our company, even um, for people that are just working back in a warehouse. Absolutely. Um, when when I took over, that's the first thing we did was was go through everyone, and and that's important. They're coming in your home, they're coming in my home, and and well, we want to make sure everyone okay. is. Uh, well, and you're hanging out with them all day long. Absolutely. So that that's important. Make sure those are the questions that you ask if you're if you're looking at that. And we would we would love to have your business. I, I think that uh, we're. We're the best at what we do, and, and we and, would love and that I opportunity. Mean, you're the owner. I'm the owner. So the owner, were you born in Milford? I was born in Milford. I've lived here. All right. uh, you know, I've said I've been drinking the water my whole life down okay. here. And, uh, so, uh, and haven't left yet. No, nope, I love it. This, is, this is home. All right. So what you're saying is locally owned, locally operated. Do you have any partners, or is it just you? Uh, it's just me. Okay. Just me. So you, you are the man. Uh, it, I'm, can a person I'm, talk to you if they wanted to? They can. My cell phone number is right on my business card, and they can stop by the shop. And I am on the road seeing customers a lot. Okay. But absolutely. Do um, your sales staff ever go to a person's house? They do. We will go do takeoffs. Um, uh, we we do. Uh, What's a takeoff? Well, takeoff is if someone is doing a remodel job and and they're just not sure, they're not comfortable bringing in a measurement. Uh, we'll go okay, do that. Okay. Otherwise, every job we do, we go template, which is that's that's the final product before we cut. But with the, um, uh, as you were mentioning earlier, do-it-yourself folks. If you have someone that's, you know, if you're a do-it-yourself person and you want to come in and bring us a measurement and say cut it to this measurement, we'll do that too. We recommend letting us come back out and template just yeah, to make sure. I recommend it. We do it every day. <laughs> so we, we know some of the little things that could be missed. The other thing is no job's too small. So if you just want a, uh, a 36 inch vanity, keychains are a little tough. Oh, They're a little okay. heavy and they tend to tear your dash up when they, when oh, they yeah. bang against it. But uh, we have 36 inch vanities already cut. You can come oh, in, really? pick them up and, and carry it with you and, and put it right on top of your, you know, if you're, if you're so inclined or if you want us to come out and install it we'll do that for you as well so now if you install it do you send a bunch of subcontractors out there we do not we have we have a a couple guys that are subcontractors but but most of our all the time we deal with and the only reason we deal with them is because we know them and and trust them and it's but uh we have uh four crews that are actually our our in-house crews that go out and do that and uh our own template guys our own service guys we also service we do sealer we do um, means service is something somebody already has. Somebody's already put in, whether we put it in or not, we can come in. And if you're not happy with the seam that was done years ago, and those are things we'll probably talk about in, in hopefully okay. future shows, but uh, we can we can correct some old seam problems that uh, technology's changed and how the process So, like, I work on other brands of trailers. You work on other people's we, granite. We will. We absolutely right. will. Wow. It's a fun business. So if you went wrong and you want it right, they can still call you. They can still call us. And, and granite you know, needs a sealer, so we can come out and just do a clean and seal and, and do those things for you. There are one-year sealers and there are lifetime sealers. You only apply one time. I look forward to becoming an expert on granite. I, I am excited about uh, <laughs> teaching you about granite, and right. I'm excited about learning more about trailers and all your inventory you have here. So. All right. Uh, Mark, I'm going to let you go. Uh, phone Thanks, number guys. just again, if you would. It's phone number, sure. Website. It's, uh, it's, our phone number here is 337-7490. Okay. Um, and our website is www.thatgraniteplace.com. And we're okay. northbound lane, Bridgeville, Delaware, uh, Route 13, uh, just south of where Jim is here with Wellers. Your and building is very near your sign. Our building is behind our sign. So if you see our <laughs> if sign. You find the sign, you're going to find that, the building. And right now there's a nativity set in front of the. Uh, it's a dead giveaway. So you, you can't miss it. At nighttime, it's lit up. So that's All where right. we are. All right. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks so Mark. much, Jim okay, and Brooks. Have a good weekend. Thanks for having me. Yep. All right. That was Mark Johnson from That Granite Place uh, hanging out with us here this morning. And uh, Brooks, what else have you got that you want to share with the good folks of uh, the entire United States? Well, a couple of things that we done? were talking about oh, no, you just get started. <laughs> earlier, 
um, were um, you were talking about the flagpoles. Yes. And we have a Christmas tree with oh, LED lights. Oh, is that thing beautiful or what? That yeah, they are absolutely gorgeous. And um, I do have to put a real quick note in. What's that? We only got a couple of them left. We do only have a couple and left. We can't get any more right now. And and they have been selling. So yeah. I wanted to mention them because, I mean. With those flagpoles, I mean, uh, the flagpoles are very nice, and this is made by the same company. You can take that flagpole, attach it to the top of the flagpole, mm -hmm. has a big ring. The lights are programmable. There's eight different functions that you can do. Aren't they neat? They'll, they'll go up and down and they'll, all they'll around. Chase, I don't even know how it colors. does it. And, and if you don't have are the Are you the guy that designed all that? No, unfortunately okay. not. I wish I could take the credit. But they normally would sell for about 400 bucks for this. Yeah. For They're this, quite an investment. Uh, Christmas tree. And we have them on sale right now for two ninety nine. Really? So... Yeah, that's definitely. Like a, that's a hundred dollars like off. That's twenty five percent off. You guys, I get this <laughs> stuff every time we do the show. Like I like giving good deals, but I like to be involved in this pricing. Okay, okay Brooks. So I did want to mention two hundred ninety nine dollars. And if you don't have the flagpole, you can obviously get the flagpole here. Get the whole setup. Can you really? Are yep. you allowed to buy both? They can buy both. How many lights are on that thing for two hundred ninety nine dollars? Three hundred and ninety two LED lights. How do I figure that out? I take two ninety nine divided by how many? Three ninety two. Three ninety two. That's seventy-seven cents a light. Yep, and it's that's too cheap. They need to be a dollar a light. How much would it be if they were a dollar a light? Three hundred ninety-two dollars, almost the regular price. And you're selling them for two ninety-nine. Two ninety-nine, yeah. All right. Have we got ours out on display yet? Yeah, it's out there. Okay. Yep, and it's right. uh, fifteen feet tall. So I mean, it's it it's makes, almost as tall as Brooks. I had a guy actually. He won last year in his in his development. He won uh, like best looking Christmas setup. Really? And he said he said I got to do something different this year. And he Ooh, came. He wants to up the ante. Yep. <laughs> he came and got one of these Christmas trees. He's like, man, that just just the looks of that is going to make the it contest. look better. <laughs> make it look that much better. But and and if you don't like you know if you don't have a flagpole or don't really want to invest in, at home. in in the flagpole and that setup, we also have a. A little bit Oh, the one smaller. that stands alone, like yeah. nine foot tall or something. It's, it's nine foot tall, and uh, it looks very similar to, to the flagpole I mean, that would setup. look neat inside of a business. Yeah, I think we have one set up right out here in Willers. I think that Granite, Granite place, place needs to buy a couple of them. <laughs> a couple of them. One on each one side of the outside, door. One for outside, one for inside. <laughs> and we have those on sale as well. Really? Yep, $225. You guys are doing pretty good out there. We're trying. We're trying. All right. Hey, I did want to say good morning to somebody. Who's that? Um, He's a good friend of mine. I don't think he's a senior citizen yet or anything. He's a real nice guy. He's actually my banker, Jack Riddle. Jack Riddle. So anyway, Jack, if you're listening, I know you're not a senior citizen, so please don't take offense. You're a real good guy. So I just want to say good morning to Jack Riddle. And you know something else I want to say? Pastor Mike Hargraves. Pastor Mike, Mike Hargreaves, Hargraves uh, from uh, Eagles Nest Church. Today is his 39th wedding anniversary. Pastor Mike, I hope you're listening. If you know Mike, wish him happy anniversary. But more importantly, go on Facebook to his page and look at how he looked when he got married. 39 years ago. I didn't even know the man was um, over 39 years old. So anyway, um, dang. So anyway, happy anniversary, Pastor Mike. Man, I am rambling today, ain't I? Yeah. <laughs> Just a Golly <laughs> day. I'm so far <laughs> off track, I'm not even going to be able to catch up. Well, it's because you, you came in and you looked at that gifts ten dollars and under ad, and you just got so excited. Well, I, got I think it's thinking, got you all. <laughs> hey, I got something else I want to give away. Are we still streaming? We are still streaming. Can the streaming people see this? Yes, yes. I'm they holding can. it up, folks. Yep. If you're looking at WellerDoesDelmarva.com, I'm holding it up. After I take my break at eight thirty, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to give away for free. This is another freebie. Okay, going to be available at Wellers in Bridgeville. I will tell you this. It's suitable for framing, and it's not a picture of me and Brooks. How's that? That's okay. got me intrigued. Got you intrigued. <laughs> so anyway, what is next, Brooks? I'm running out of thoughts. I'm running dry. I've run aground. That is hey. definitely different for you. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> I running out wanna, of thoughts? I got somebody else I want to mention. Um, this Facebook thing, man, I keep up with everybody. I got another guy I want to mention. He's a young man I know. His name is H.G. Wilson. As soon as I say it, people are going to say, I know him. He's a real good guy. And um, he really, he's in car sales, automotive sales down at Millsboro Auto Mart. And he is trying to hit a certain number for the month of December. And the problem is I don't know what the number is. But I just want to let you know if you need a good, clean, used automobile, maybe the proper word is pre-owned, 
a pre-owned automobile, um, give him a call, whether it's a car, a truck, a van, um, anything you may need to pull a trailer, and then you can leave there and come over here and get a trailer. But anyway, uh, Millsboro Auto Mart, here is his number. What is he saying? He's saying, picture this top down. Oh, never mind. Forget that. I'm just going to give you his phone number. Okay? I think this is actually his cell phone number he's given out. 410-896-3053. 410-896-3053-HG Wilson. You tell him I sent you. Don't call him now because I think he's a late sleeper. I don't even think he gets up before noon some days. No, I'm just messing with you. He's a real good guy. So if you've never met him, never talked to him, give him a call and just say hi, honest, friendly, sincere, easygoing guy, not your typical used car salesman. Tell him I sent you, though. H.G. Wilson. Brooks, I keep interrupting you every time I say, Brooks, what's next? <laughs> It's all good. <laughs> Just it's go with good. the flow. Go with the flow. Can I talk about these Clorox things? Absolutely. This was a huge error in one of my communications with the pe person that does my ads, which is my daughter. <laughs> okay, here we go. You ready? Yep, I'm ready. All right, these are Clorox, brand new in the box. It's a hand sanitizer. Um, the batteries go right in them, and you slide your hand under them, and it spits out hand sanitizer and then you put these refills in it mm -hmm. got it right here in front of me on amazon.com these things are like 46 bucks a piece okay, okay. so 46 dollars brand new in the box um then the dispenser that goes inside it's like 20 dollars and 86 cents here's the deal and this is an unbelievable deal and it's real so whether you have a daycare whether you have a um you know, you homeschool, maybe you have a church or a business, or you just want to make sure that in your own house, everybody's hands are sanitized. This is going to be such a deal. You're going to say, I cannot even believe it. It is true. It is accurate. It was a minor misunderstanding, but I'm going to honor it because it's in print. Okay. Yep. And here's the deal. You get two of the dispensers. So if you took $46 and 13 cents, two times, how much is that? That is $92 and some change, okay? And then I'm going to give you three refills. So I take $20.86 and I add that three times. I'm at $154.84, okay? Mm -hmm. Two dispensers, three refills. Are you with me? Yep. Keep up with me, Brooks. I'm with you. Okay. $20, folks. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Now, that's not 20 bucks each. You're going to get five items for $20. How that's, much is that each, Brooks? That's... Four dollars a piece. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm a little under so the weather, so the I brain guess, doesn't work as quick. You better <laughs> stick to that every week. Anyway, um, twenty dollars now, folks, and this is not a joke. We're going to absolutely do it. Um, if you own a church, a school, a daycare, maybe you just want to put one in your <laughs> vehicle. Maybe you got a fifteen passenger van and you need one for so many people coming and going. But um, it's a big thing. Hand sanitizing. So anyway, 20 bucks, two machines, two of the dispensers, and three refills. No catches, no gimmicks, no nothing. $20 for all five items. According to Brooks, that's $4 a piece. That's $130 off. That's yeah. that's huge. That's a big deal. I like the word humongous. Humongous. It's humongous. Humongous. It's Weller Mungus. <laughs> so anyway, the deals are Sweller at Wellers. No doubt we have fun selling stuff. If you can't make money, my theory is at least have fun losing money. Sure. Is that right? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Dag nabbit. All right. So anyway, um, we do have the free calendars. My goodness, we're giving away free calendars. They're, one is free. If you insist on two, it's two for a dollar, okay? <laughs> All right, we're trying to break greed. Is that right? <laughs> so anyway, then we got the buttons that say, it's, it's okay. okay to say Merry Christmas. I'm going to have another free item here in just a few minutes after I take my next break. And I just want you to come into Weller's and shop around. Is today, is there a limit or no limit? Is this no limit Saturday or not? It's a no limit Saturday, and we'll even waive the cover charge. Really? No charge to come in. And in fact, there's not even a membership fee to deal here. Wow. So we've got free membership to Wellers. Yep. Is there any height or weight requirements to deal here? You, all sizes are available. All sizes. All sizes fit Wellers. All right. 337-8228 if you wonder what we're even talking about. Weller does Delmarva.com. Watch us during the break. It's amazing what we do. And uh, we'll be right back in just a couple minutes. Weller does Delmarva. Stay tuned.
Hi, this is Dan Gaffney inviting you to make lasting memories when we take a seven-day Eastern Caribbean cruise leaving from Baltimore April 19th. This is my personal invitation to you to join me as we go to Grand Turk, Half Moon Key in the Bahamas, Freeport in the Bahamas, and enjoy all the amenities on board the Carnival Pride. The folks at Bethany Travel Dream Vacations have put together a great package. You can cruise for seven days. Of course, this includes all the port charges and meals, 24-hour room service for as little as $788. Upgrading to a balcony cabin in the low 900s. Based on double occupancy, it's going to be a great trip. April 19th, set sail with me on Delaware 1059. This seven-day cruise brought to you in part by Winner of Dover. WinnerDover.com. Winner Ford, Hyundai, Subaru, and Volkswagen. For more information and to book, call Bethany Travel at 933-0955. CBS News Update. I'm Gary Nahn. Al-Qaeda militants in Yemen have killed an American and a South African, journalist Luke Summers and aid worker Pierre Corky. It happened during a second failed rescue attempt by U.S. Navy SEALs. Sky News reporter Enda Brady. There was a previous rescue attempt November 25th that was in uh, a remote province of Yemen. Uh, there was a cave there. Eight other hostages were freed. Seven militants were killed, but crucially, no sign of Luke Summers. CBS's David Martin in Washington. He was uh, seriously wounded, and by the time the SEALs were able to uh, load him aboard aircraft and get him back to a ship that was waiting off the coast of Yemen, his life could no longer be saved. Six Al-Qaeda hostage takers were killed in the daring raid today. All Navy SEALs are okay. Summers was taken hostage September 2013. No word on the fate of the other hostages believed to have been held with Summers and Corky. President Obama sent condolences to the families. CBS News Update, I'm Gary Nunn. You interested in a fireplace? How about a patio or even an outdoor kitchen? Does your roof need to be repaired or do you need a new roof? Well, you're in luck. Listen Saturday mornings with me, Fran the Man, from 1030 until 11 o'clock and call in with your questions during the Wirtz and Company Home Improvement Tips Program. Wirtz and Company, they've got an outstanding reputation for top quality products and workmanship. Wirtz and Company, since 1926. Welcome back to Delaware Housing Matters, where we try to answer all your housing questions. I have another caller on the line. Hi, what's your housing question today? Hi, thanks for taking my call. My husband and I are looking to buy a house, and we've heard now is a good time to buy. A friend of mine told me that there is a new tax credit available for first-time buyers. Is that true? I thought that expired a while ago. It absolutely is true. Delaware State Housing Authority recently announced the Delaware First Time Home Buyer Tax Credit, which can help you receive up to $2,000 a year federal tax credits. Oh, wow. That could really help us out. Definitely. To learn more, check out the Delaware State Housing Authority website, destatehousing.com, or give them a call toll-free, 888-363-8808. Thanks so much. That's great to know. No problem, and good luck on getting your new home. Let's go to our next caller. Brought to you by Delaware State Housing Authority. Delaware's key to housing in the first state since 1968. Mayhem is everywhere. I'm your cell phone. You set me on the passenger seat when you got in the car. But then you took a hard turn. And I slid into that spot between the seat and the door. A.K.A. the Bermuda Triangle of Car Interiors. Now, I'm stuck down here when I start vibrating. You panic. What if it's daycare? Sarah was sniffling this morning. What kind of mother are you? That's it. You're going for me. Stretch a little further. You can reach me. Or not. And if you have cut rate insurance, you could be missing a lot more than a call. So get all state, where agents help protect you from mayhem. <laughs> like me. Life can surprise you. Call me, Paul Sarnak, your Delmarva area Allstate agent at 302-248-8500. Call today and ask about the Allstate car buying service. Offer open to all insurance subject to terms and conditions. The Allstate car buying service is another way the good hands are doing more than ever before. 
Your new Goodyear Tire Pros and Service Network facility, Ocean Area Tire, next to Harris Teeter and Long Neck, wants to keep you safely driving this winter. Ocean Area Tire offers a 29-point safety inspection. Get your belts and tire traction checked now at Ocean Area Tire. They offer a free battery alignment and diagnostic code checks and are the largest Goodyear store on the shore with over 4,000 tires in stock. Now till December 31st, get an $80 or $160 rebate on the purchase of a set of four select Goodyear or Dunlop tires on your Goodyear credit card. For the utmost in quality service and customer respect, it's Ocean Area Tire. Their tire team will listen to your concerns and service your vehicle with only the state-of-the-art equipment in their seven-bay full-service facility. Moms, you'll love Ocean Area Tire's kid-friendly play area. Nearby stores and eateries located next to Harris Teeter, Route 24 Long Neck, open seven days a week. Towing and courtesy shuttle available, Ocean Area Tires. Call 302-945-TIRE. La Dolce Vita, the sweet life, is an authentic Italian restaurant set in a casual atmosphere where the friendly staff is dedicated to exquisite food and excellent service. Everything is homemade from recipes handed down from generations of this family-owned and operated business. La Dolce Vita is open daily for dinner at 3.30, and they're now offering 15% off your entire check every day except holidays. Relax and enjoy great food and conversation with your family and friends at La Dolce Vita Italian Restaurant on Long Neck Road, Millsboro. The following program is a paid commercial presentation. The comments, views, and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect the views of the staff, management, or advertisers of Delaware 105.9. Wow, that was a short break, everybody. Jim Weller here, and we are live, a live. We're live and alive at Weller's Utility Trailers in Bridgeville. They're getting ready to open up the store. We're open today till 1. We mentioned some free items today. First was the Weller Does Del Marva coffee mug, mm -hmm. exclusively only available every once in a while as we give them out. Sure. You can have one today absolutely free, one per car load or van load. No bus loads, right? No bus loads. Okay, you got to come in here and find Brooks Ritter, and he will give you one of those. That offer is only good today. Then we have the free Weller's calendars. Uh, we're moving through them things pretty good, aren't we? Yes, we are. And uh, they are free, and you can pretty much have one of them any day of the week, no problem. Then we have the It's Okay to Say Merry Christmas buttons. They're absolutely free. You can pretty much have one of them any day of the week. Got one more thing. I got a Sure Speed little discount thing. This will give you $5 off a race. Uh, we'll give them away free pretty much any day of the week, no purchase necessary. And here's going to be my next today only offer, okay? This is a really nice poster that I bought, and I really like it. It's kind of a neat thing, and a lot of people ought to buy them and put them up in your place of business, put them up uh, wherever you work, at the work bulletin board, something like that. Uh, just put it up in your house even. It's a real nice poster, kind of has the flag in the background, and it says, In God We Trust, the national motto of the United States of America, adopted by Congress July 30th. 1956 these sell online for five or six dollars if you're looking online i'm going to hold it up here um i'm going to give you one absolutely free we normally sell them for three dollars don't we mm -hmm. so i'm going to give them away absolutely free if somebody would like one not handfuls of them or anything like that but if you'd like one to put up somewhere you can have one for free today and today only come on in and see brooks uh, anytime before one o'clock and he will give you one of these free okay mm -hmm. real nice little poster i got one um, that i framed looks real nice so that is free wanted to also mention my accountant um, and he is one who constantly reminds me if you give everything away for free it's hard to make a profit <laughs> so but we do have a good time and um, i do want to thank all of my customers and friends and i want to tell you something we do get some really crazy deals on stuff and i enjoy just turning around and blessing people with a good crazy deal i mean we sell trailers for a living we sell sheds we sell carports we sell swing sets we sell generators and we do need to to, to make a profit on that we do need to survive and be able to support our community and support the employees so they can you know have a, a nice family life and so on but every once in a while we get a crazy deal on something and i like to turn around if i get blessed with a good deal i'd like to pass the blessing on to you so when you listen to some of these offers folks there's no gimmicks or anything like that we're just here we're having a good time we're having fun you know something we sell a lot of is socks and we have a lot of people just love to joke and kid and <laughs> stuff like that about the socks i mean we've been selling them now for two or three years yeah. and people say how'd you get them because i bought uh i don't even know how many i bought but i know i bought thousands and thousands yeah. upon thousands of pairs of socks i got them for thousands upon thousands of 
packages of socks right. which each have six pairs of socks. Right. <laughs> and I got them pretty cheap. So, you know, mm-hmm. I mean, we have the best deal in Delaware on socks. Mm-hmm. So it's Weller's Utility Trailers. We have fun doing this. Um, some people say, aren't you embarrassed selling those things? I'm not embarrassed about giving people good deals. In other words, you know, if I could give you a deal on bubble bath that you can't get anywhere else, there's nothing to be embarrassed. I'm just trying to, you know, be a blessing to people that deal with me. I want you to be happy. I want you to enjoy your experience here. Um, I want it, even if we have uh, something that's not going smooth, we're just normal people. I mean, it's ludicrous to think you're going to sell thousands of things a year and something not go smooth sometimes. But it's, you know, how we handle it. What do we do? We don't we don't get up tight with you. We're not going to cuss you. We're not going to threaten to get our lawyer and sue you as a customer. And we don't want you to do the same with us. We want you to talk to us respectfully in a decent way. And we'll work through it. There isn't any obstacle we can't work through as long as there's two people willing to to work through it. I, I get so frustrated. I know people, the minute they have trouble with something, they're like, I'm going to call my lawyer. I'm going to talk bad about it. What kind of, what's that? How's that nice? What does that fix? What does that fix? Yeah. You know, that only just shows your character. That doesn't do anything other than show your character. It doesn't change the way we're going to treat you. We're going to do our best to make it right. But it always amazes me. I could be in a business and something go wrong, and all of a sudden the person's waiting on somebody, and then that person gets all nasty with them, and you're thinking, what, what even gives you the right to treat somebody that way? Mm-hmm. You know, where, where's that even even nice? Yeah. You know, so um, live in a strange world. Try to keep that in mind when something doesn't go just right. You know, a lot of things are based on a lot more circumstances than you realize, and, you know, try to be kind and try to treat people the way you would like them to treat you. And, you know, I've always learned something. I remember I went to a service, a church service one time, and it was Pastor Bill Sammons, and he talked about when you're squeezed, what's in you comes out. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if he did this or if I saw it somewhere else, but he took like an orange and he laid it up there, and he said, here's an orange, and he laid it up there, and then he picked it up and put it back down and picked it up. And there was no residue, nothing there. But then you take that orange and you squeeze it. You squeeze it. Guess what happens? The stuff that's yeah. inside starts, starts out. coming out. Yeah. And that's what people do when they're squeezed. And you know where it usually comes out? Right out their mouth in a sharp, nasty, you know, type way. And people don't realize it, but your tongue is one of the smallest organs on your body, in your body, on your body. But it can be the most damaging, mm-hmm. you know. So I want to encourage you, folks, it's a busy time of year, whether you're driving, whether you're doing business somewhere, whether you're being waited on, whether you're waiting on somebody, keep that in mind. You know, keep that in mind. In other words, you know, you want to be kind to one another and you want to be a little bit compassionate because you just don't know who just got a bad doctor's report or, you know, just had something happen in their lives or something like that. And just because you didn't get the exact service, the exact way you thought it was going to be, it still doesn't mean that, you know, you have any right to treat people nasty. So. I have to get off of my soapbox now. Well, I mean, okay. it's it's amazing you talk about that. My wife and I were just were just talking about it last night. Um, you know, if you follow the news, and you know, we get a lot of our news from Facebook, but it also is coming right. from like different news stations. And the um, the gentleman, they they made an arrest in that the the murder case that was from Milton uh, oh, a couple of weeks that ago. Oh, was tragic? And then you know, yes, it was very tragic. And then you're, you're, I'm watching it, and I'm watching people make comments, this, that, and the other, and people are making. Very ignorant comments. It's, but you know when and a person does, makes an ignorant comment, you know what it means? They're just an uneducated speaker. I, I, exactly. Whatever they're speaking about, they, they're, they're uneducated. But what were you going to say? And, and it doesn't matter how you really look at it because there's, there's people that are hurting this on both sides. Oh, it's a the, tragedy all the way around. The, the people that are the, the gentleman that lost his life, his mom, his friends, his family, his brother. His brother's still clinging to that's, life. That's in the hospital. And even the gentleman that got arrested, I mean, his family. Yes. I mean, so when you're making ignorant comments on that kind of stuff, I mean, there's people that are involved in this all the way around, whether right. it's the, the negative side, the positive side. You just got to remember that because when you make those comments, you know, and, and I go in and I go look and, and I see it, you know, you know, what if that was my best friend? Now I'm seeing these comments. Now right. it's stirring things up in, what in me. What if it was your cousin? Exactly. What is my family? My brother. You know, right. you, you don't know. Yeah. So it's like you got to really think about those things all the time because even though even if you do have an attitude towards it, you know, that that guy killed somebody. I I understand that, but even his family, you know, it's not right for his family right to go through it. The the gentleman did something wrong or is, you know, being accused of doing something wrong. 
And uh, you just got to keep those things in mind because it's it's hurtful all the way around. Yep, and we are a hurtful society, aren't we? Absolutely. It's, you know, I mean, we'd rather hurt somebody than be kind. It's sad. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I got to remember this myself all the time. You know, Brooks, we're not really in the trailer business or the shed business or the generator or the sock business. We're actually in the people business. Yep. We're actually in the people business. And every minute of every day we interact with people and we are given an opportunity to make some type of an impression. So I'm going to pledge to – Try to be better at being a at, at making a good good impression on people. So, if I've offended you, please forgive me. Okay, sure. I think that's why God gives us one mouth, but He gives us two eyes mm -hmm. and two ears, mm -hmm. so we can actually see and hear twice as much as we say. Mm -hmm. And yep. the problem is we just don't process it in the meantime. Yeah. So, all right. Can I get off of all that? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyway, but it's real, folks. But the, yeah. we are in a t we are in a time of year. People are busy yeah. right now. This There's just a busy. lot going on, you know, and you just don't know who's dealing with what. And we get so insensitive over things. Sure. You know, I got a bad burger, or or the cheese don't taste right, or I thought you were going to wait on me quicker than you did, or I thought this was going to last longer than it did, or, oh, I've got trouble with it, and you're telling me I have to deal with the manufacturer? Yeah, why wouldn't you deal with the man? They made it. Yeah. You know, the guy that sold it to you didn't make it. You know, and it's just people are so insensitive. So I want to encourage today sensitivity. Let's be sensitive to one another. Let's not sing kumbaya and, <laughs> and, and beat everybody over the head with a flower. But, I mean, in all reality, Think about it. You know what I'm talking about. Sure. And I mean, see. Do you know what I'm talking about, Brooks? Absolutely. Okay. And, and you should be this way all the time. But I mean, especially this time of the year, there's a lot of added stress this time of the year. There is. Whether it's work related, whether it's, you know, a family that wants to get nice things for their kids for Christmas, but they don't right. have the money. So right. there's a lot of things that add to people's stress levels. And stress can cause people to be a little different than yeah. they normally are. I agree. Because what, when you're squeezed, yeah, what's inside comes out. <laughs> what's inside comes out. Just sit at a green light for three seconds. And you're hearing the horn. And see what's happening. Yep. Isn't that awful? Oh, absolutely. Isn't that awful? Here we go, people. Can I switch gears now, Brooks? Yeah, we probably should. <laughs> All right. Luff and Associates, my accountant, who always wants to make sure I don't give away the farm. They do our payroll. It's called Easy Payroll. They do a great job. And um, whether you have a business of one or two people or hundreds of people, if you want a good quality accounting firm to do your accounting for you if you want them to do your payroll for you they can do it they have an office in dover they have one in milford and they have one in rehoboth what i love and i know it's not a big deal i just love you call one phone number no matter who you're looking for and they'll track them down 422-9699 422-9699 luff and associates in milford also want to mention no nonsense office machines rick fowler he joined us last saturday there at the uh Sure speed in Milford, and I think he met some people and got some contacts. But one neat thing is he had this computer that looked like a stereo system that he had actually made out of an old antique-type stereo system. So that was, uh, really neat that was really neat. And then he had the one that was clear, that you could actually see all the moving parts inside and everything. So if you need a computer, a laptop, he had this thing that you put under a, a laptop that cools it. It had these little fans. You know, which was kind of neat. He also services them. He works on them. He has new. He has used. He sells copiers. He sells fax machines. He sells printers. He kind of sells a little bit of everything. I highly recommend him. He's an honest, good, fair, friendly man. Just give him a call at 856-7381, 856-7381. He's located right outside of Georgetown, two miles east of the circle on Route 9, right next to Sports at the Beach Complex. And again, it's 856-7381. Tell him I sent you. And I want to let you know one more thing. If you mention Jim Weller or Weller Does Delmarva, he will give you a discount of 25% I've got written down. This is well. an old note. I keep saying it every once in a while. But you get something worked on, say, hey, Jim thought you would knock 25% off, and I'm sure he will probably do it or work with you in some way, shape, or form. So anyway, uh, what in the world was that noise, Brooks? <laughs> that was an email. <laughs> okay, are you getting ready to start singing Christmas carols? No, no, that was the that was the ship coming in. The ship coming in. <laughs> Another load of something. 
They're back in the boat up to the dock right now. Yes, they are. All right. Anyway, you remember when we got those carports straight from China? Wasn't that nervous when we opened them doors? Oh, Wondering yeah. what was in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyway, we got carports. Boy, people are buying them things, aren't they? They are. They, I that's mean, a, I, that is it's just I'm amazed at how many carports. But they're so cheap. What is cheap. it, $795? And for 18 by 21. Is that a two-car carport? Tall. That's a two-car carport, yeah. Six foot tall, so I should be able to fit under it. Yeah, delivered yeah. and installed. That's that's the big what thing about it. What do you mean by it. installed? They actually assemble it. They have a crew that comes out and assembles it. Right there in it. my yard. Yep. Don't put it right up. It includes anchors into the, the ground or, or concrete Included anchors. in seven? Yep. Now, they have additional anchors you can buy, like if you want, like they have mobile home anchors. Them big ones that crank down in? Yeah, they have like the little big, the big blades on them, so okay. you can get extra support if you want to go that really? route. But they the, they have three foot like rebar anchors that they drive into the ground, so if you're putting it that's on included. dirt, that's seven, included. So in for that price. $795, they even have a 695 one, don't they? Yeah, which is a 12 by 21, a single so car. So, okay. But for 795 you get a two car carport. Yep. Now, if somebody buys a carport, then a year or two from now, they can still enclose that, can't they? Absolutely, words, yeah. You can words. you can make changes to it later on. You can you know add sides. You can add the add back garage front, doors garage right on doors. the front if you want. You can so, make it taller if you want to. That's a little more complicated because you they, can, huh? but you can do it. Yeah. All right. Hey, I want to tell you about a new sponsor that I got. Can I do that? Sure. Can I do it now, or you want me to wait? I think you should do it now. I'm excited to this hear. This one here is going to make you hungry. I'm always hungry. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> All right, there. Breaking news, folks. <laughs> Brooks is always hungry. All right. This is Abbott's Grill. Um, they are in Milford, and they also are now in Laurel. I think they've actually been in Laurel for a little while. But um, they really have great food, and um, they also have catering. You also could have, like, your Christmas party there. In other words, you know, if you're looking for a nice place. Uh, we had ours there. Was it last year or a year or two ago? I, I can't think remember. it was two years ago. Yeah. Um, real nice company, good people to deal with. Um, I was eating there the other day, and I actually had, I, I think they call it the surf in turf. It was a cheeseburger. Well, actually, I had the cheese. It was a hamburger, and then they put crab, I don't know if it's crab peel or crab meat on top, and then I had them melt some cheese right in it, and it was really, really good. They're in Milford. They're on uh, Front Street in Milford, and um, they're in Laurel, right downtown Laurel. So you got... Um, and, th and their slogan, I really like it, big time taste, small town nice. nice. It is that nice, friendly, you know, clean. You get in there, they um, have really good food, and it's all, they make it right then and there. It's not all, you know, been sitting around or anything like that. It's They have a nice website, too. I want to steer you to it. It's abbotsgrillde.com. And you can click on there, and you can look at their menu, see their specials. They have a really good gift card deal right now. Um, if you buy an annual gift card, so, you know, if you're in, some, you know, in a business, you're looking for something for your employees, you could buy a $250 gift card and get another $50 free. Get another $50 card free. Think about that. How much is that? 20% off? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Daggone. So, you know, if you want a good gift for somebody or something, go in and get a gift card. But in Milford, they're right on Northeast Front Street. And then in Laurel, they're right on Delaware Avenue. Great food. They have weekly specials, lunch, dinner, Sunday brunch. Sunday brunch. I'm going to check that out. Um, and they have on and off-site catering for any occasion, large or small. So I want you to give them a call. The uh, Milford number is 491 6736 491 6736 the laurel numbers 280 280 6172 6172 tell them i sent you look up their website at least check it out abbotsgrillde.com tell me are they on facebook brooks um if they are i want people to like them on facebook that's abbotts grill and another thing um i'm really not going to promote this too hard but he is also opening a fitness center so if you know where the milford abbott's grill is uh just a few doors down he's got a fitness center that he's open and i believe it's open and operational now and it's more than just a gym i mean you can go in there and they, they, they'll work with you as far as health nutrition your lifestyle a little bit of everything so um that is missapillionfitness.com on the web so I want to encourage people to look that up. Brooks is still trying to figure out if Abbott's Grill is on Facebook, but I think they are. It's yes, eight. they are. They are. Okay. Is it a likes page? It is. All right. Yep. So like it. Abbott's Grill and Bald Jason's Pub is the Bald Jason's name. Pub. Yep. 
Okay. <laughs> well, anyway, so uh, it's a nice place. So Abbott's Grill in Milford, Abbott's Grill in Laurel, and then you got Milford, no, MissApillionFitness.com. Check them out on the web if you would. <clears throat> All right, Brooks. That is that, okay? That did make me hungry. And it, I, oh, man, <laughs> look at the website and look at the pictures of the food and the menu and the specials and all the different things. It's a very happening place. Look at these specials here. Weekly specials. Monday, $7 burger night. And, I mean, these are nice, yeah, these are big, burgers. good, fresh burgers. I like them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then what's Tuesday? Let's do trivia, 7 to 9. You and I could go do that. Sure. Wednesday is half-price wine night. You could do that. I'll drink. You drive. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> if I drink, you should take pictures. <laughs> hey, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Friday and Saturday, live entertainment. And then Sunday brunch. Uh, it's The brunch is from 11 to 2.30. Oh, that's a good one. All right. Other than that, they uh, have a three-course prime rib night. Wow. So, anyway, folks, check them out. That was a long commercial, wasn't it? It was. Was that more than a minute? Uh, a little bit. Okie dokie. <laughs> All right, everybody. So, uh, that's Abbott's Grill. And uh, you can get them in Seaford, and you can get Seaford. Man, I'm real. Now I need to stop talking now. <laughs> Abbott's Grill and in Milford. Milford and Laurel. Not Seaford yet. So, anyway, Milford and Laurel. All right. Brooks, I want to hit these tablets one more time, if I could, please. Absolutely. I feel they have been one of the better investments we've ever made. If you need a tablet, they are brand spanking new in the box. They got a full manufacturer's warranty. I have no idea what that means. It just means that they come with a warranty, okay? Sure. Mm -hmm. So anyway, and they are $77.50 each. They have a camera on the front, camera on the rear. Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. Come with a little cord to charge it and everything. That's correct. They have a speaker built in too. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you're saying for just 20 bucks more. Yeah, you can get a get, package deal. All right, so they get a cleaning kit. Is that a brand called Zag, a Zag, Zag yep. cleaning kit? Yeah. All right, so it's just like a little spray bottle and a cloth and stuff like that. So you could clean your tablet or any other electronic device. That's correct. So you get a cleaning kit. What are they, like a $10 value? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you get a case, yep. and this case opens up, and it has a built-in keyboard. That's correct. It's probably a $25 value. Yeah. All right, and then you get a set of earbuds. That's correct. They're probably a 6 or $7 value. That's correct. So you're saying for $20 more, you get the cleaning kit, the earbud, and you get the case. All three of those items for just $20 more. That's correct. But you can't come in and just buy all three of those items for $20. No, not okay? at all. So you got to buy the tablet to qualify to be able to add those things to it for just $20 more. That's correct. Okay. And these and come you, in colors? Yeah, you got four different color choices. You got really? blue, pink, yellow, and orange. Tell me, what's the most popular color? Pink. Pink. And okay. blue would be second. Really? Yep. There you go. All right. Anything else? Well, we we and on top of that, we do have some other tablets available. Some bigger. Oh, that ones. bigger one, yeah. yeah. Like Ten point one. Was that like two hundred bucks or something like that? We have it on sale right now for one forty seven fifty. For like a ten inch tablet. For a ten inch tablet. That's a deal. It's got sixteen gigabytes of memory. Really. Um, and it's also got a five megapixel camera. It's got NVIDIA graphics. I mean, it actually now, has really point, good pictures. You're starting picture. to lose me. Okay. Picture. The Use graphics. The word's really good. <laughs> More better. <laughs> really good graphics. I mean, whatever they, whatever you called it. When you turn it on, it's like, wow, that picture is good. Sharp. Yeah, very okay. sharp. Yep. All right. So three three seven eight two two eight Wellers dot com on the web. Uh, we are looking for people in Wellers utility trailers. That's correct. All right. You can also friend me on Facebook. I'm the Jim Weller from Delaware, and not Delaware, California. <laughs> Delaware. <laughs> The state of Delaware, everybody. Yeah. All right, other than that, if you want to ever be on the show or have us promote your business, let me know. Uh, you can send me a Facebook message on that or an email, jim at wellers.com. We're open now. The store is open. We're busy. Yeah. Things are going. Thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. If you missed any part of the show, go to wellerdoesdelmarva.com, and you can watch most of our previous shows. I want to say thank you to Fran and everybody at Delaware 105.9 for allowing us to do this show and, all, and out over the airwaves to the gazillions of people that are listening and wellers is a great place to do your christmas holiday shopping we do use the word christmas around here is that yes right? we do absolutely all right anything else there young man weller does the marva does have a facebook page and we need some more likes i'd like to get that up I there forgot by sunday yeah you're I'll awful demand in there over there young give you man a day, to, day to get to the eagles versus the seahawks really tomorrow at four seattle seahawks the seattle seahawks they're, and they intend to whip them eagles th that's what they're saying it's going to be a tough game i, I was looking hawk? close i think it would be a big fight good fight really but uh, I'm, I'm always nervous when we play a team of that caliber just because we're really – Oh, Eagles you're are, playing yourself? No. Nah, well, oh. they're my team. So, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so when I when I look at them, good running back, and we have uh, 
we have a good defense and we have a good running back and good offense. It's just we're playing really good right now, and I'm just scared that we're going to start throwing the games away here in December. So why would they do that? Just to be kind. Uh, uh, the they way must the have football heard our earlier speech. <laughs> the way the football season's going, it, any given Sunday this year it, it's definitely how it's been. Really? Yeah. For well, for a lot of teams. But you watch some kind of sports every Sunday. Well, uh, yeah, whether it's racing or football or something. Really? Yep. Are you an armchair quarterback? Uh, most of the time, yeah. Is your wife? That's correct. <laughs> Make you cookies? Uh, no, no, she'll she'll be in the other room watching her uh, TLC or one of those TLC. Channels. I'm TLC. A, I'm a TLC. <laughs> Gosh, you know what I saw last night? What's that? It was called Tank. Have you ever seen that show? I have not seen it. They make fish tanks. Okay. It was a really neat show, and I forgot what channel it was on because I don't normally get that channel. It's like at Christmas time they must give us free channels or something like that. So anyway, folks, I want to thank you again for tuning in. Weller does Del Marva, and uh, we're kind of out of time here, I think. And I want you to have a good weekend, and uh, be kind and careful out there. And if you need anything that we got, go to Weller's. Dot com and check out all the specials. Give us a call at 337-8228. Or better yet, just get in your car and drive right on down to Weller's Utility Trailers on Route 13 in Bridgeville, Delaware. So uh, we're here. We're going to be doing some business. Um, I can hear people out there talking already, and it's going to be a good day. So, again, it's 337-8228. If you have any questions, we mentioned some free items that uh, you can get from Brooks Ritter if you want any of those free items. So um, you stop in and say, hey, Brooks, heard you on the radio. Um, you can get some free items. So uh, other than that, we're here. You go to wellers.com. We got a lot of different ads on there, and um, you can get a chance to see some of our different specials. Also, there's a video on there if you want to learn a little bit more about me. Um, you just click on it. It says Jim Weller, the man, the myth, the legend. Also, um, pretty much that's about it. So we are out of time, folks. I hope you have a good weekend, and um, I'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye. Set of guidelines affecting racial profiling. CBS News correspondent Larry Miller reports. Racial profiling by the FBI and other federal agents will end under new administration guidelines set to be announced. The policy expands the definition of racial profiling, banning it on the basis of religion, gender, national origin, and sexual orientation. However, the curbs will not apply to border checks and passenger screening at airports. They also won't apply to local police. The American Civil Liberties Union isn't happy border and airport officials are exempt, saying this disproportionately affects Latinos and religious minorities. Larry Miller, CBS News. Now to the eastern Philippines. A monster typhoon named Hagapit is bearing down in Manila. Reporter Barnaby Lowe says that thousands fleeing inland what is one of the world's biggest peacetime evacuations. Half a million people in the region were evacuated ahead of the typhoon. Many had stocked up on food, water and other necessities. Now, the government says they are more prepared than ever with relief goods and emergency workers all prepositioned, equipped, and ready to respond. Hagapita is expected to make landfall sometime.